Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Destiny. Yes, this is a live stream from Twitch where I am playing with your users in a safe where I've got to try and, you know, at least finish in the top four. We got lots of players with C uh, CA, PA of 200 and I have to play against these super powered teams with regular players. And yes, as usual, I didn't record at the start of the stream. So you're joining me when we are about to find out the CA and the PA or somebody in, you know, we scouted. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing, man? Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was stupid. I, you, you know, Rogue Cafe just spoke about how we're getting, you know, I'm putting season 10 out there. And I was just laughing because I forgot to hit the record button again, which is one of the reasons why so many episodes are not available. Okay, so we were just talking about what do you think is PA is? Because when you go into the game, I honestly feel that if we if we set a scout out, it'd be good if the scout could compare him to somebody that's in our club. Meaning he's as good, he might be as good as this player. That's all I need to know. That'd be great, right? But here, this is the only one that we have, right? The potential ability, and it all depends on the quality of your squads, of course. But here in this game, right, which is one of the reasons why I don't like to play attribute list. <laughs> he, the moment he showed me the stars, I know how good the player is. Okay, so we're talking about what do you think his PA is? We're talking about the range right now, right? So I think that because his one star is not showing, it's between, okay, actually, because his one star is not showing, it is between 135 to 145. I don't think it's higher than that. Okay? All right, so why? I want to know. I, I, okay, I want to know, but I'm not going to sign him anyway, right? So let's just find out, okay? So this guy, what is his... PA. 130. That's because, right? His his stars, right? Are not higher than this. No? 130 is in this range, no? That means it, do you know that the PA does not change? Right. So now what he's telling you, the scars are not sure. He could be a three star, he could be a four star. A four star, yeah, he'd be about 140, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that this guy is like, this is something that I use you know, in the game. So whenever I see like three stars, okay, 130 isn't bad. It's not something that we should go like, you know, oh God, that's a low CA for a pool, low PA for a player. But here's where things get interesting in the game of football manager. All right. We got to look at the attributes, right? The ones that are heavy. Uh, these attributes are expensive. The physical attributes, right? Don't grow very fast. Right? They, they, they cost quite a lot. Secondly, how many positions does he know? That's another one. How good is his left foot and his right foot? That's another one. And that's, you, you chalk all those three out, right? Okay. That all eats up, all eats into his potential CA that's, you know, he's going to be eaten away because it's already a hundred and something right now. Right now it's a hundred and something because look at this, 14, 14, 14, 13, 17. Determination, not cheap. Okay. Aggression, not cheap. Okay. Crossing, very expensive attribute, right? So his crossing is already 14. And then he's got acceleration, agility, and balance. This guy's distribution here is solid. This is, okay, excellent. First touch is excellent. Okay, 11. He just needs 12 to be really good, right? This is when I decide whether a player is worth signing. I look at anticipation. I look at concentration. He's 9 plus 2 is 11. I need it to be about 12. That's 3 gain. Concentration, I need it to be a 12. That's another 2 gain. I wouldn't sign it. I mean... If I can just concentrate his training on these two areas, he might be worth getting, right? But he will never ever have like 14 acceleration. He'll be like 13, 12, 13, and that's about it. And so the way I look at it, right? Okay, because you, you can check, no? I mean, like, you know, you look at this, right? His RCA is 103. His CA is only 105, right? So if he might get increases in anticipation, he might increases in composure, he'll get increases in concentration, uh, his first touch you've got passing and marking will definitely go up because you know it's that position that he's training in so he these attributes will go up so you go up to 8 10 eight, once he settles in about 11 11 that's it man so so this is the reason why when i go and see scout reports right i look at this okay it's about 130 i was going it can't be more than 144 140 145 right that's if this was a ye yellow star so it was between 130 to 145 around there. So I got in on the low end, it became 130. So if you see something like this, see the gap? There's not a lot, right? The gap. So it's about 30 attributes he has to gain. Then you have to look at the play and go, is, it, is, he, is he worth signing? He's not worth signing. No. 
I wouldn't sign him. Because when I sign somebody at 17 years old, I would, I'm asking myself only one simple question. How long will it take me to get the key attributes up? Mm. Uh, and I never look at this. Because I know this ain't going up anytime soon. It's going to take a really long time. Unless you retrain the position, which costs you some more points. Because fullbacks, right? If I want the fullback to uh, increase his crossing very fast, I will train him as a winger. Yeah, I know. it. Uh, yeah, downsides of Twitch archiving isn't forever. Yeah, that's a sad thing. Yeah, so I've, I've, I put some of these series back on um, YouTube. Yeah. I, I honestly thought they were archiving it. And now that you guys have mentioned they don't archive it, then I decided, okay, fine. We'll record as many. I will record every one of them. Hey, hard disk, you haven't died yet, right? <laughs> My hard disk, if it's going, going gone. Yeah, Reyes asks, what is your problem? He doesn't know. Shut up. Newcastle, please. I know the girls are pretty in Newcastle. But, you know, Facundo Medina has agreed. Yeah, okay, thank you. Are you going on loan? Yes, go practice. You Facundo, you. <laughs> Facundo, right? Every Facundo I've signed, oh my god, they've all turned into a nightmare. I've never had a good Facundo player, bro. It's the curse of me. Victor Dobrev, all these great players. So, okay, what I did earlier, right, when I started the stream, I, ex I, I won't call it accidentally. There's no such thing accidentally. Like. I, I took out the guy's injuries, though. So that is Viela. <laughs> so now I'm not, so I, I got so angry that I took off his injuries, right? After I say, what do you do? Why do you take off his injuries? Well, let him be injured. Uh. He only had two days or three days left. Uh. He had three days left. So I took off his injuries. Now it's actually, he can play. But I decided, okay, that's it. I'm banning myself from using him for at least uh, this weekend's game against Borussia Dortmund. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Talk about making it out of I know, it's just, it's not my concept. It's not original. It's by another guy. Oh, God. <laughs> He's out for three to four weeks. I just lost players, man. Oh, my goodness. Several players. Rooney, Matthew, uh, Leonardo, Alvarez. Okay, they all want him to go. I'm in trouble. Yeah, this is not an original concept. Yeah, it's somebody else's concept. Um, He graciously offered it. He he offered it. He, he suggested I do it because he said, I can tell you're bored. <laughs> It's true. I was... I you know, I can't even play any other game now. I wanted to play Brawler's Gate. They patch... Every time they patch the game, right? I can't play the game. So I can play... I could play the game prior to the last patch. So I was so excited. I got Brawler's Gate. I created a... So I, I had this goal of... You know... Yeah. A fantastic mage caster. I wanted to see if I could get a mage caster with swords and stuff. Right? You know what I mean? Just a different kind of character. And um, I just wanted to be all around, kill everybody kind of thing. I don't leave anyone alive. Everybody I see meet, I will kill them. I'm a killer. I'm just going to be a killer in the game. Okay. Yeah, now I can't load the game. So I can't even start the game. I right, let, Let's go and see. Let's just quit this game. Let's go and see whether the Baldur's Gate nightmare continues. Hey, quick, quick, quick. You save, huh? My Baldur's Gate nightmare. It's a nightmare. I cannot play Baldur's Gate. I I have repeatedly... I mean, you know what's the worst part of this? Okay. I actually sent in a bug report like November of last year. <laughs> last year, November. So detailed and they asked me, okay, can you give us as much information as you can? Can you, uh, you know, um, you know, um, everything. Like, you know, I did everything they asked me to do. They, you know, they were nice. They kept sending me emails and stuff. And then I went like, okay, you know, it doesn't run. You know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do? Because I get this screen all the time. <laughs> I get this screen all the time. Yeah, I'll just say that. Yeah, this has been happening to me since November of 223 each time you patch the game. No. The latest patch dated. Uh, okay, I, I better put a date. <laughs> put a date here. 21st March, right? Okay, 21st March. Okay, put here 21st March. This, you cannot enter. Yeah, this has been happening since November. The latest patch just leads me to this very nice. <laughs> 
Crash Reporter. And your tech support have actually suggested I play another game. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's what they said, no? I can't even send the thing. See that? So cruel. Look at that. I can't even send a report. It's unbelievable. They are tech support, no? I sent in a bug report to the text or detail everything, screenshots, the whole works. I even recorded the whole thing. <laughs> this is exactly why I showed them my desktop. I showed them all my running applications. I sent them the DX dialogue. I sent everything. I did it. Oh, God. The amount of stuff I did. Videos, everything. I said, look, guys, I played this game in alpha. I was one of the alpha players. So I played the game in alpha. So I know I was running. I had this really nice save going. Okay, a lot of us had early access, right? But ever since these patches, these last few patches, it's been like this, you know. And then the latest response from the help desk was, "Why did you play another game? We can recommend you this game." I'm like, <laughs> I, there's only so much you can do, I guess. Yeah, such is life. So Baldur's Gate has gone down in history. It's a sad game for me, man. I have an option. You know, I have another computer. But, no, I want to play on this computer. This is the gaming computer. The other one is the, work, the editing computer. Every other game can, we can play. We can play Cyberpunk. I can play a game from mid in 2011. But I can't play this game. Oh, dear Lord. Sad. Better stop mourning. <laughs> okay. So sad. All right, so Newcastle have been, please, reject all offers. I decided to keep him. Offers made from, are you what? I reject. I don't have any more keepers after that. You, you dare take all my keepers. My goodness. When these, when these uh, people come in to make transfers, are they like bloody vultures, no? They come descending on your team. First, all your rivals will say, hey, you know what? We want your players. So they upset the whole apple cart. Then after that, they swing in for all your players. I thought I heard something. Always low ball. <laughs> yeah, they always low ball, exactly. I think, they, I like, I mean, I don't mind it, you know. I kind of like it in a sense because it makes my players upset. I like the whole drama that goes on. It only lasts for three weeks, you know. It's predictable drama that always happens every season. I just, I just warn them, right? So we don't have to warn them again. Yeah, it happens every season. So, you know, every time there's a transfer window, they get upset. It's like clockwork. Hey, it's transfer window, let's get upset. Okay. Yeah, it's good for the game, I guess, but it's annoying. Huh? But of course, after a while, I mean, it used to be very annoying for me when I first started playing. I mean, like a couple of years ago, I used to play, I really hated it. Yeah, I hated it so much. But then, after a while, I got used to it. I was like, yeah, okay. It's just one of those things. Uh. You just got to go through it. <laughs> Baji. Okay, there we go. I see how the window transfer, window open. You know, all the players are coming to you, banging the door. They want to leave. I I, I still remember. I, I still remember the day when I had the whole... Hey, we could scroll down already. Come. Last season, I think five seasons ago, we scrolled all the way down to the bottom, right? The reserves... The under 19s was one happy. It was a record. I set the record. Everyone, the, everyone in the club was unhappy. That was that was like the highlight went for me. Okay, let's go. Um, we we'll, we I think we'll play Sergio. Yeah, Larson, Z Emery, and then uh, Dragan is injured. Um, Ma Ma Mahon, oh he's injured too. Let's just uh uncheck the unavailable. Rivas, this the man. Okay, so he comes in. Oh wait, where are you? Okay, um, we'll play Rivas instead of Alberto. Um, we got Reyes, Hato. Hato is back. <laughs> the kid, uh, they both they were both injured at the same time. Villa, sorry, you, I accidentally clicked on you, lah. You know, I intentionally took out injury so that you can stay on the bench a bit longer. Okay, you just stay there. All right. Who we got? Alberto. This guy, is, this guy has been a bit disappointing, right? Okay, have we got central defenders? We got uh, this one who wants to leave. Let's, let's play more. He wants to leave the club, so we'll play him every day, okay? 
Uh, I know. Doesn't make sense. Just one of those fantastic things about this game. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. So we, how many defenders do we have? We got. We need at least two. We got fullbacks. We got one. One here. We got another defender somewhere here. We got this guy can play here. We got this guy who can play here. Uh, we got this guy who supposed to be able to play here, but he wants to leave the club. Uh, up top we have um, this one and this one. So who comes in? Ooh, one of these things is not like the other. Uh, you, you're not good enough for a club. Okay, this guy. All right, Urkan. You are not 100% fit. So we will use um, Rooney. He's not that... Yeah, but he's... Wait, Rivas, Rivas. I like him, but I don't want him to get injured. Because like this, right? Okay, he's likely to get injured. Uh, so we'll just use reverse. It's not a full strength squad, but we are playing mighty Borussia Dortmund. Uh, what are we going to do? No. Yeah, baby. Let's go strikeless. Baj, Vepers, Howdy, KOD, Bracoon. Bracoon will play. We figured out that this is a complete waste of time, right? <laughs> and CD. All right, so we got counter, counter press. Um, we've got pass into space. We're going to use low crosses because we're always getting to the buy. Yeah. Mid block, more often, previous show will distribution. And the other option is, of course, to go whip uh, because we've got fast players. All right, we'll go whip first and see how it does. If I get a lot of breaks because they are attacking us, then we get behind the lines. Okay, so in terms of OIs, we'll hard tackle this guy, we'll hard tackle this guy. We'll type out this guy. We'll depress this guy. Oh, we we'll we we'll hard tackle all these three. All right. Um, we will come in here. Okay. Trigger press this guy. Tackle hard. Okay. Yeah. We gotta do something slightly different today. Um, tackle hard. Tackle hard. Trigger press. Trigger press. Trigger press. Uh, we will I, mark their wing backs and their full backs. And we'll tackle them hard as well. So anytime they get the ball from the back, I will jump on them. Okay. All right. So, so this, that's the task of these three, basically. That's what I'm trying to do. Four super players. Okay. All right, guys. Let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Start the eventual. Tidal win is coming my way. This Borussia Dortmund, have, I've never beaten them. You know, I, I've tried. Like, everything. I've thrown everything at this team, right? The only team that we've been able to beat home and away has been Bayern Munich. But this team has got the super players. So, a bit tougher. <laughs> Especially when they got Superman like this guy here who can jump. And then, yeah, well, let's, let's, let's go for it. Like, you know, let's go and extend our highlights. Um, let's move everything to one side so I get an unimpeded view of the screen. Okay, let's go, Kaiser. The fair, 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 fair I do. We speak our super player, but not all, not every one of these players is a 200, 200 player, like, you know. Not all of them. There was a time when this whole team was nothing but two. Uh, what do you call it? 200, 200. Now they only got about one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Five of these players are 200 over 200. So it's like, <laughs> quite fun. Uh, so let's go. Baron Dirian, I'm only playing him because he wants to leave the club. That's 40% of the team. Yep, only 40% of the team. It's okay, you know what I mean? We try our best, you know what I mean? We wanted a challenge, right? Uh, we got a challenge, I, sh I shouldn't complain. Okay, come on, get in. Uh, Fanadu, block. Okay, what's the mistake? What is the mistake? Those wingers are getting away. That's the mistake. Okay, the wingers are getting away. So we're gonna... Eh, the wingers got away. So, wait, let me think. These guys are coming in. Uh. Okay, hold on. I got them on hard tackle, but these guys are coming in so easily. Well, let me see. Wing back, left, wing back, right. 
Yeah, they're coming in too easily. Guys, there's nobody's getting close to them. No one. They pay attention to those three again. Uh, Nunes and Wim. Uh, we just want to break their legs. Uh. Problem is by tight mark and trigger press these guys as well. Then these guys will get away. So I got to decide which group I'm going to deal with. Either them or them. Hit says do it to this group. But I'm scared of these three getting away. Why did he start in Germany? Because the 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 only place where I think is an even can I there can be an even fight for me. Oh god, yeah. What to do? He lost that. Nunes has scored at the near post. That's the first goal we considered from the near post, man. This is terrible defending from our boys. Okay. Yeah, they got up. They were all there. They lost the player. Yeah, so immediately we berate the boys. Disappointed. They actually got one of their, their non-threatening players, no? 15 jumping reach. Uh, mm. That's our first corner goal that we've conceded in almost, what, a season and about 10, 15 games, right? Oh. See? Well, yeah, I got what I saw the mistake. Okay, we're gonna have to remove this. We're gonna have to remove this. We're gonna have to remove this. Yeah, it's not working. Because I got these two guys as well, the three in front. Mm. All right, we're not. We, this is not helping our cause. We're gonna have to move up the pitch. Yeah, let's get get involved high up the pitch and see whether we can uh, get out of this mid block. The mid block isn't working. We're just giving them too much space. They got this tactic now. It's hurting me, man. Anu, okay, done. We got two two guys in the wall. That's all we needed. Uh, we're not getting anywhere. All right. Let's get out of this. Hey, Audi, QD, might as well go for it now. I mean, we're 40 minutes, right? So we haven't really done much. Yeah, we can definitely... Uh, This is going to be fun. Um, Sajio is going to... Our advanced what is going to be a defender, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one goal down already to the mighty Borussia Dortmund. And I'm at home. Yep. So we're going to take Sergio off. Uh, bring on, we got Sergio, Bach. What are they? Oh, I, I don't know if they're playing. Never mind. It's okay. Uh, when Percy can come on, we'll put you here. This gives me a chance to play a winger. That Milo injury hurts us, yeah, big time. Because we don't have a striker then. Yeah. I'm like one, I'm a team in one striker. <laughs> I mean, when Percy is a decent striker, yeah, he's okay. I think we should be fine. We have to get high. We gotta put more pressure on this team. We got completely pushed. Lost the plot. Okay, whatever they got. White center back, white center back. Yeah, inside force. Okay, good. Let's just keep attacking that group. Um, counter, counter. Let's put more pressure on this team. Uh, inside forward, inside forward. These two are going to come up. Yeah, okay. Nice. Ha ah, ha 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 He's offside. When Percy is not the striker that can win us games. Come on, we're putting a lot of pressure on them, man. 
This week is running away from players. Bro. The super player is doing it. Rondo is too good. Uh. They we gotta prevent. Uh, good work. Ah, uh, Sergio, Sergio, Sergio. I thought Sergio did enough. Okay, all right. Now we know what we want to do. This guy is going to be hard to tackle. And tight more. We can make it slightly harder for them to work the ball out. Let's go. Rondo shot block. Hanio gets in. Oh no, that's it. Braco. Zaya Emery with a clearance to save the day. Coyote goes in hard. David Seaman, thank you very much. Okay, we still, okay, we have something. We have, okay, good work from Raccoon. Sergio, ah, back to Larson. Larson will bring the ball forward. Finds Rooney. Rooney's got support. He doesn't use it. Goes back to Brandarian, which is like, he lost the tempo. Yeah, y'all, I think a few of your players are playing. Yeah. I don't know how many of... You got a lot of super players, huh? This team, you loaded some more. You added two more, right, to this team. I don't recognize... I, nowadays, I just don't know who are all the super players. In. Yes! Please don't be offside. Please don't be offside. Please don't be offside. I don't know, man. It looks so tight to me. Mm, we got the goal. We got the goal. Because uh, three central defender systems, right, are all... They are vulnerable to inside forwards. They're very vulnerable to inside forwards. See, we can play. If you want to come back, you, you want to come. You want to play against the systems. You switch to a four-two-three-one with inside forwards. You're gonna give it a lot of trouble. All right. So we managed to get one back. We still have a chance, baby. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to think about the back line now. Okay. Play Reyes on the left. I mean, one of these guys is uh, going to be... I have to take fewer risks, no? This guy, yeah. One of my takes fewer risks, one takes more risks. Sebastian Smith, 62 minutes. Brooklyn. Okay, come on. Um, yeah, let's go. Two changes. Ali Riza. Rooney, come on. I also got, I've got my corner routines. That's a bit of a overwork corner routine. Nice. Come on, Schmitty. He only got, he's got a right foot. Now. That's a problem. He went, it's like, the more I saw him, I said, shit, he's got a right foot. He's got no left foot. Braccoon. Nice pass to Reyes. Reyes is the eye for a pass. Smart fella. Rizzi, come on. Boom. It's 2-1. We were one nail down to the super team. <laughs> and we have turned things around. Sergio scores. Okay. Okay, now what do we do? Yeah, okay. okay. At this point in time, I normally uh, look at tactics, you know. Okay, they got ball winning midfield, they got DM. These guys are not moving. Okay, they're staying still. So this gives me a lot of options. The more pressure I put on them at the back, the harder it is going to be for them to link the attacks up. So they're going to look for long balls, right? Okay, so we're using fullbacks as smart because the fullbacks, they don't try and dribble too much. They, they meet traffic, they'll play the ball back inside. So let's keep up the pressure and not change too much. If anything else, we'll take off Larson and Audi. Fuck the lorry, yeah, the five two two one, right? <laughs> but I already took off my, I already took off my defender. Yeah, so I can't go back to the back five now. Yeah. So I have to play. I have to look at uh, making changes in the defensive department. Okay, I got another corner. Riza Rooney. Nice pass back to Rizzi. Oi. We almost had a goal, no? What a move from the boys, baby. Okay, see, see, this is corners, right? Look at that. Is this the thing about corners? Not all managers play the same way. Yeah, you look at this, right? Look at they have nobody forward. No? What does that mean? Who has got the extra man? 
right? Equal numbers back. So this guy of corner routine, you should see everyone is marked. Look at this guy, he's marked. This guy, this guy is marked. This guy is marked, right? This guy is, uh, yeah, he's free, but they're only going to worry about these two, right? And then they got got enough numbers here to handle, see? So whenever you do your corner routines, right, you're setting up your corner routines, you got to think in terms of uh, your setup, yeah. I know that throw-ins are a problem, like, you know, that, that I'll admit, like, you know, there's some issues with throw-ins because throw-ins more like, it's got to do with um, whether or not um, certain players are paying attention. I hate to say it, but it's true, no? Are players paying attention? That's the problem with throw-ins at the moment. Because sometimes a player turns his back to the ball as he's coming into the area. And then as he turns his back, right, he loses his marker. When he loses his marker, it becomes a, you know, stupid goal. Yeah. That, that I was definitely admit. Because <laughs> it, it was happening even in, uh, uh, it was happening a lot more in beta. You know. Then I think there were, a lot of people submitted a lot of bug reports, including me. Like, you know, a lot of us did. We dialed it down. It wasn't so bad. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get back. We got one. God, I always send everybody up for a corner. Okay, these two went back really good. Because when you're attacking corners, right, edge of area, make sure, you know, you set up your set pieces. Huh? Especially set pieces, no? your defending area, right? You see this edge of area, C1, C2, guess who they are? See, I got one stay, when I'm defending, right, one stay forward center, which is, Kind of interesting because I was defending the corner, everybody, I was attacking the corner, they everybody back, right? But when I'm defending, I got stay forward center. So I'm going, what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to do something different. Okay. That, that guy, AJV, right? Uh, player mark. Uh, wait, there was used to be one no, instruction here. Uh, let me see if I can do it this way. There we go. It's funny, you know, I don't know if this is a bug, okay? It could very well be a bug, right? See this? They got, I've got player mark, player mark, player mark. This is like man marking all the way, you know, okay? I'll do this one, well, I'll put one guy zonally marking, okay? Just for the fun of it. Let's see what happens, right? I'm just messing, I'm, I'm not making a new set. I'm just doing something different. So I got not two at the age, so I got nobody forward <laughs> when I'm defending. So all, all my players are back in the box. So. Yeah. Because I always have one forward. But what if I put everybody back? Because I consider a goal. Mm. They had nobody back. Okay. Come on, Wiswick. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Now I put everybody back, right? Take out a corner. We defended that. Don't shoot. Go. Yeah, we defended that corner. Everyone is gone back. So you pull everyone back for the corner. Now this is what I mean by throw in, right? Okay, you see, he's taking a throw in. What is this guy doing? This is the reason why sometimes our throw ins can see too many goals. You see this guy? Where is he looking? He's looking here. There. This is the reason why we can see a few goals. So now he's running this way. So he's not actually looking at the ball. So we hope he gets into position. I got into position quickly. Yeah. So you got to, like, your players' anticipation, hopefully, you know, they got the right mentals. <laughs> if they don't, then good luck to you. Because the when they bugs out, it bugs out. Because the play is not good enough. Okay. Okay, we got another corner. All right, so we got a good... Okay, hold on, let me think. No more work ball into box. We got time waste the life away of this out of this game, and then we're not gonna counter anymore. Or rather, we're not gonna counter press anymore. <laughs> okay, we're not counter pressing anymore. All right. They've changed, yeah, they've changed their tactic. Get there. One more. Okay. Just clear the ball. Everyone's back defending now. I want the win, huh? <laughs> I want the win. Wait, I think we did it. Ooh! One nil down with one shot on target. We turned it right. Shut them up, man. They had nine shots in the first half. First half, seven shots, two. 
We only have one, none on target. We had an XG of 0 0.0 or then XG of 0 0.45. Second half, we turned things around 1.56 XG in the second half. Full, right. Second half XG, first half 0 0.01. Second half, we went 1.56 XG, they had 0 0.21. What a turnaround, man. Holy cow, that was a turnaround. That's a big win for us. Very big win. Yeah, we can, the first goal I considered was quite... I, I realized I'm going to have a, to put one more player back. So I'm trying... That's one way of doing it. You know, if you look at it, you can get two at the edge of the area for the counter-attack, right? So here you go. So let's see, set piece, right? So defense, let's say, okay, let's, 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 let me save this routine defense corner version one, okay? Hello? <laughs> oh, they got too many. <laughs> defense corner version one, okay, I'm saving this. Okay, right. I want to get two at the edge of the area, right? For the counter attack. So right now, only counter attacks, I only have one, one edge of the area, right? One guy marking near post for some bizarre, yeah, because, you know, near post, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so this joker marking the near post is actually, who is it? Say B1, because he gave up the near post. Uh, so B2, 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 this guy. He's fine. This guy's standing at the post, right? Okay, I am not worried about that guy. So, Zoli Mark near post. Who was this supposed to be? Just now, A2. This guy was supposed to be tracking the guy who scored the goal earlier, right? Inigio Barandias. Our defenders fell asleep at the wheel, huh? That was a near post goal one. Just now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one. Okay, so how do I do this? Huh? <laughs> uh, how do I new? How do I create a new? Oh, preset routine. Do I do that? Preset, save routine, load routine, save routine, reset, preset routine. I don't know, man. Sheesh. I thought we could have another defend, right? Attack has got plus one. Yeah, defend only has one. So I don't want to do that. That means i got to keep changing it. So what I'll do is later... Uh, I will, I will, see, I don't know whether this is a bug or not a bug. You see, there's only one edge of area, right, here. But there's one edge of area here. So I can get three edge of areas, right? See, it's like, there's a maximum of two, right? Okay. I drag this guy here. Or rather, I, I drag this guy here. All right. It doesn't work this way, eh? So I put him back here, and this guy play him out. If I drag this guy here, there's two age of area. Yeah. There's maximum of two age of area. So I want these two guys to be the counter attackers. Okay. So I take this guy and put him back here. Okay. Play him out, play him out, play him out. And I got two counter attackers. How's that for a plan? <laughs> two age of areas. Both of these guys will be counter attackers. Okay. Play him out, play him out, play him out. This is a hybrid setup. No? Yeah. I'm gonna try this. Uh. You see, I was having one guy forward. Because so far, I noticed, right? I hardly get one over the top no, anymore. Yeah, I can only have one defend. Yeah, that's a, that's a, I, I wish that I could have two defend routines. No. Mm. Ah, that would be nice. No. That would be nice. So then I'm going to save this as defend corner routine version 2. Hey, shit, not, not new routine, sorry. Save routine version 2, right? Okay, this is uh, all back. Because um, as far as the uh, set the other set pieces are concerned, so throw-ins, what can you do? You can't do anything with throw-ins, right? What can you do with throw-ins? That's about the best you can do. Stay forward center. You, you, I mean, you we could put one guy back. Um, but they will always have one defender anyway, so. So I put AJ area, mark, mark. The other thing is I don't want my defenders to be like all over the place. That's the thing. This guy is going to be one center back. This guy's going to be another center back. This guy's another center back. All three center backs are here. Oh, I mean, throw-ins. That's generally the way I've been doing it. No? I don't like to change 
too many players and their positioning. But we need to try something different. I don't know. I mean, like, this has worked for me you know, so far. So I save this as routine one. Okay, defensive third, what I'm going to do now is go everyone Zuno. I want to see what happens. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Right? Only the three defense. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's go to totally Zono. What do you think is going to happen? I want to your area. Trackers or... Okay, we just give you guys player mark. Player mark. Player mark. One age of area. Okay. Look at where all, the, all of them are standing. <laughs> this gives me, this makes me petrified. Uh, I'm not going, I'm going to, I'm going to use the existing routine. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to just use this routine. <laughs> Forget the other one. That one sounds insane. Just because the throwings is much like. Throwings, right? Okay, this guy is only marking your three defenders. This guy, who's this guy? A4. Michael KOD. A5. Hugo Larson. B1. Amin Audi. I gotta change the tracker. Where's KOD? Oh, this guy is too high. He's too high as a tracker. I mean, I think these guys are fine as strikers, right? Yeah. Counter attackers are going to be simple. Yeah, the guys are, the, the guys are going to start the counters. This is it. Yeah, who are the main players? One, two, three. Not him. Nah, I knew it. He's number three. It shouldn't affect him, right? Uh, there's only aero defenders and trackers I need to worry about. All right, we go on our proper win. Barcelona won him for 78 million. We're going to say no. Got to ride the wave, la, you know. Right, the wave of upset players for a while. But the Borussia Dortmund win did us a big, big favor. A big favor. All right. So we got the win over Borussia Dortmund, who are one of the rivals for the title. We have had a very rocky start to the season. Both matches, we came back, we came from behind to win. All right. Okay, let's prepare for this next game, right? Okay. Uh, let's try something simple. Okay, we've got uh let's what well, how dynamic still the whole world is unhappy. So what else is new? Okay. Deep line forward, winger, winger, boza. Hey, let's look at your um Borussia Dortmund, right? You got a super players in this team, right? Okay. Okay, okay. How many super players have you got? You got David Morzak. Last game, right? Who played? I know you got a lot of super players, or no? Some of them haven't gone all the way. Oyster, Ome, Obo, Ome, Koku, Oluki, Oyster. Yeah. Hanyo, Wiswick, Bruno Lewis. Bruno Lewis is... Uh... Who owns Bruno Lewis? Replash, this is your player. He was on the bench, huh? Last game. Was he? Let me see. Wait. I got to look at your players. I, there's no... You, got, you, you guys have too many players right now. So, let's have a creation day. We plash. This was your latest player. Mamadou. Yeah, he was playing. Fanadu. Mamadou Fanadu. He was playing in the last game. Yeah, 16 year old. Right? He started the game, man. <laughs> Mamadou Fanadu. Yeah. When you, they all lost, right? He started the game. Yeah, Fanadu. There we go. Fanadu and Artuan were... Pairing up in the center of the park. 16. Yeah, all the super players start at the age of 16 years old. And they got some of them got frozen attributes, right? Rook Cafe. So they'll stay that way. Yeah, they'll stay that way forever. You 
Hey guys, seriously. Okay, good, good, good. We got more and more injuries. We're getting more and more injuries, ladies and gentlemen. That's always good news, huh? Makes the game more realistic. Okay, Basilo Rubim. This is a interesting player. Wow. Gotta love it when my scouts find players like this, no? Wow, this guy is good, man. Anticipation 16, concentration 16, positioning 14, heading 13. That one is the only thing that he needs to improve. He only needs to improve one thing, heading. Only one thing? <laughs> Man, he only needs one thing. Oh my God, this is going straight. 33 million, done. I give you 10 million. Uh, please say yes, please say yes, please say yes. Okay, we give you a bit more lah, just to make sure we get him in. My scouting system, yeah. They go through my scouts. That one just popped up. The scouting center just, boom. Uh, 35 million, okay, done. Yeah. Because we, you see, whenever you go, I, I have these recruitment focuses, right? So I got recruitment focuses going all the way. Then every time one young player gets identified, right? We scout him and then shortlist him. So I always start when they are 15, no? So, so we got this, uh, there we go. Yeah. This one, right? Every is ongoing. Every once in a while, somebody will pop up, no? Who's a five star. And then I, okay, we'll track him. Even though he, he, they will say he's like five stars, right? We start tracking him straight away. So I track him immediately. So that's what I do. I just track them. I mean, they may not be fantastic at the start, right? But because I've already uh, uh, added into my shortlist, my scouts know, okay, we're going to keep an eye out on this player. So that, it works. Huh? So I have a very simple way of playing. I don't do like, you know, anything else. This is about it. Lah. So every time I go through here with everyone, and I always use the same things. So I got one four three three for my tactic. They found this Ibrahim Muhammad. Yeah, so I won't sign him. Apparently they like him. I don't like him. Yeah, because I think that he's gonna take too long to improve. I mean, he might be a late bloomer. But that's eight to twelve. That's four attribute points. Twenty or so, not worth it. So yeah, I keep on. All these are ongoing. Ongoing, ongoing, that's it. Minimal, like this, simple. So they all keep coming. So I like this. So I've got players that we keep coming in. Uh, Pablo, also, this guy injured. Oh, they, forget it. Nice. Creme brulee. These are all the others. Juliet, ah, we had this player. He was actually my player last time. We scouted him, now he keeps popping up. Philippo Missouri also has scouted him early. So I saw you, you add them to your shortlist. My shortlist is ever expanding. Long way to go, yeah. Gertruda has been a lot. I, I This one also quite a while ago. Rubim offer. Okay, start negotiation. Don't talk. Come here. Squad player. Done, done, done. I take everything. Come on. <laughs> Shut up and come, man. Injury prone. Red, walk away. <laughs> no wonder I didn't sign him. He's injury prone. That is why. That is why he's red injury. He's very injury prone. No wonder he goes going so cheap. That's what I thought for a moment. And that is probably the reason why I never signed him. Uh, because my first scout report must have come in. I saw him. So he's always been on the scout report. Ah, uh, what a waste. Make me happy for a short while only. I thought I found a phenomenal central defender. Some injury prones are okay. So this is more players, right? Uh, some of them, they are, this is Scouting Center, 24 recommendations, ongoing priority, we'll request the reports. Then request the reports. These are probably like, you know, I just randomly go and okay, you know, check this player. So how many of them are? Okay, these are all recommended. These are reports. So Joey Stevens, 140. 
Let's just do it by order of value and remove these guys. Mas Baker. Mas Baker, I'm interested. Huh? Mas Baker, I'm very interested in him. Yeah. He played really well, but it's 52 million. So let's go down the list. 5 million. Matthias Salazar, forget it. Huh? Let's just leave it here. Rodrigo Coquia Letamendia. Freddie Paxton. Ah, uh, forget it. We'll wait for the scouts to come in and then once again they will tell us score five star, then we just go and look for them. Real Leverkusen, get 12 million. Champions League face. All right, so far we've won. Um, Okay, that's the okay, that's it, huh? The season is over, right? Can I can I call the season? <laughs> we beaten Bot Borussia Dortmund. Can we call it now? <laughs> I mean, for me, that's it though. I've, I can call the season now, man. Done it. Beaten Borussia Dortmund. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's see last season, right? It's Borussia Dortmund, right? Past meetings, right? You know how difficult this team is to beat. Look at the red line. Red blood everywhere. I draw blood. Last season, last few seasons, okay. You know, then we had we had a period of time where yeah, we were okay. Then they boosted the team again. <laughs> then I came out. Wow, this was a good season, man. Uh, home and away, we beat them, and then we beat them in a the Titanic clash, the Champions League phase. Well, of course, I think this is this is unimportant because Champions League phase. Remember this game? They already had qualified as one of the top player top teams. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, then yeah, we went back to the Bundesliga. They, they showed us what we were worth with the hounding. And then we drew against them. 2-1, 3-3 last season at home. A narrow, yeah, difficult. Never, I mean, <laughs> clean sheets are rare. La. Was too difficult, la, those games. All right, Wolfsburg coming up. Wolfsburg, I think, uh, let's see. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, man. This team might have some. You, you guys got players almost. Uh, don't they don't have any? Okay, good, good. So they are. So do we? Mm, let me think. Strikers again. Start strikers. Huh? See whether this tactical system actually works. Okay. <laughs> I will find out soon enough. <laughs> it's a hell of a way to find out, huh? He does. He has no clue whether the system works. Yeah, we only tried it in preseason. Uh, yeah, I kind of was a guard for Evan Ferguson. Um, Sergio Reyes, uh, Bronthwaite, Bato, Bracun, Sergio. No, we want Barandian playing. I want him happy, you know? He might, after all, sign a contract. You see, he doesn't want to discuss new contract with agent. Eh? Must leave by the end of the recording. I'm, I'm hoping, no. I'm just hoping, right? We play him every game. He decides, you know what, boss? I'm staying. That'll be good. Something tells me it's not happening. I know, I'm desperate, like, you know. I know I should sign him, but this is called desperation. <laughs> I know uh, the logical thing is to sign it. I'll let you go. Yeah. Yeah, what to say, what to do. Okay, I tell you, I think you guys are right. Like, you know, Baron Darian transfer status, transfer list 35. No one wants to pay money for him. Juventus, 29 million is the last one. When the OPT, yeah, maybe. Okay, let's put it Bronthwaite in. Huh? You guys are right. I should listen to the people who play the game well. <laughs> no, I shouldn't allow emotion to take over. I'm way too emotional when I play this game. Okay, Mass AP, halfback, halfback. Okay, basically, <laughs> this is like, I, he drops it. These, these two guys, hey, let's keep the ball. But the problem is this, right? Right now, a football manager, NCB sometimes don't hoof the ball up, so you got to be... So most likely, they're gonna just going to drop in, give it to these two guys, right? So what we'll do is, we'll say hello to the two guys with a big smile. Uh, inverted wing back, we see them, we trigger press, we are tackle. 
trigger press or tackle? Hard tackle this guy. Trigger, uh, trigger press, hard tackle the goalkeeper. Hard tackle this. Uh, let's stop hard tackling everyone. We might not have any players left after that. Okay, Howdy, Smith, uh, Kiyode. Kiyode seems to be carrying a no knocks. Okay. Uh, Akan, Uskan. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. All right. Daddy, Vilililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililil
Spice Surger goes deep. Schmiss hater is not going to bother anyone. Okay. All right. How are you going to get the ball? Half. Mm, nice. <laughs> Go there. Nice. Put pressure on that. Yeah, the build out. They need to use the halfback, right? Okay. So every time they get the, they're going to have a lot of pressure now. They can't play out from the back. Yeah, we did the right thing. Let them try and get it to the halfback. <sighs> nice ball. Oh. Brakun, howdy. Nice pass. Reverse. A gets the goal. I, but it could be offside. Could be offside. Could be. I thought it was, he looked offside to me. No, he's not. We bought a referee for the week. We have bought the referee for a week. Yeah, I thought he was offside. <laughs> All right, inverted wing back. These are the weakness. Oh, they got CD, CD. Ah, still weak. Yeah. Inverted wing backs with the first choice because halfback will drop. This is a terrible combination. Halfback, CD, CD, inverted wing back. Because you know the only players that really are going to bring the ball forward are going to be the. It's going to be the either the halfback or the inverted wing backs. Nice turns. How he looks for Alberto. They are saved by, by a play on the line. Okay, good. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Kung. <laughs> oh, he got away. He got away. Uh, get there. Yep. Oh, they got out of the press. Good work from Broadway. Raccoon finds Rivas Reyes to Alberto. Alberto loses the ball. Bloody, he's not, he's not a Brazilian worth his own name. Ah. I feel like switch or oh, Bayern Munich are two up and Peter Crush has got a goal. So Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund are both leading. So we cannot afford to, you know, be behind. I don't like the fact that we got everybody back. No fun. <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. Set piece defending edge of area. I got so many players back. This is not fun anymore. Um, let's uh, put one guy stay forward, okay? Center. Got two at the age area, two player mark. Yeah, I'm taking a chance. I'm taking a risk. But hey, man, I got these two are gonna lead the counter, and this guy is gonna go off. Is that a smart thing to do? Ah, uh, well, we we'll just put this guy back, huh? Because I'm a big ass coward. Okay, <laughs> I'm big. I'm a big coward. Okay, I'll just have one guy forward, right? Okay. All right, so far so good. The mess in AP, hardback. We're just trying to put pressure on their build-out patterns. Go Sergio. Sergio. Van Persie looks up. He finds a run of Smith. The wing-back finds Alberto. Oh, no. Why is he such a pig? Damn it, no, my Alberto. What a muppet. Come on. I try Frankfurt. Oh, they're one up. They have a, deep, they have a player or two in there as well. Rivers with a deep... Sergio, setting a howdy. Sergio, back to Bronthwaite. Is the two defenders trying to do something with the ball there. They abs have absolutely no clue. Rivas, Sergio, back to Schmidt. He goes like, okay, at least I know I'm supposed to go to the flanks. Uh, I guess that go. All right. We're one goal up. When Percy gets the ball, finds Schmidt, okay. Okay, dive when you have the ball at your feet and you're in the area. Okay, don't dive when the ball is not at your feet. Ooh, scorcher. Okay, so far so good. The two wingbacks are doing a good job. Uh, they go, they, I, the reason why I chose wingbacks, complete wingbacks, is because they roam. DLP, double DLP is because both hold positions. This is a scary, scary uh, strike plus system. Nice. Whoa, another miss from Rivas. I don't believe it, man. We're getting a lot of good chances. Those through passes through the middle. 
But they're not putting it, they're not, you know, finishing it, man. Alberto missed one. How uh, Rivas missed one. No? How they, they get the ball back? No, they don't. They get the ball back? No, they don't. <laughs> Good win. I'm Percy now. Back to Reyes. Sergio Rivas. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did he go for goal? Rivas was through, no. He decided to play in Howdy. Howdy doody. Okay, all right. Let's have a word with these boys. I, you know, I'm far from please. Uh, they looking like Muppets on the pitch. All right, do we bring, do we take this guy? I think he's not performing. Guess what? Try skiller balls. Maybe he's trying too much of that. But the idea is these three are supposed to work, right? I could play him as the APS. He'll drop. Then the three of them become one kind of a trigger for these two to come in. Let's try that. No? Yeah, let's try that. Then we add the Rome and move into channels to this guy. Okay? Just out of curiosity, see whether that works or not. Whether I'll make this pattern a bit more different. That means we'll have three, like this creative fulcrum, right? There are three of them. Yeah. But if they if their composure is very low, or if the opposition decide to press their group really hard, then they we could end up, you know, getting into trouble. Yeah, that's my only concern. The four. The midfield is having a sensational time. Okay, we got a free kick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a miss. <laughs> How many players unmarked? <laughs> the AI is so many, man. The AI is set pieces. You know, some teams have good ones. Some teams have... Yeah, they don't have very good ones. So. It all depends on researchers. Oh, Schmidt got inside. Took a shot. Safon off with the save. All right, let's see if we got... Yep, we got one, two, three, four. Nice. Reverse to take the shot. Alberto goes deep. Keeper punches it. Schmidt. All right. We're going to have to think about this player. You know? Okay. All right. We're going to bring Villa Lele 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 on. Um, maybe. Uh, we'll see if the other substitutions were later. Yeah, just nice. I had a guy drop from 6.7 to 6.6. Raccoon. Don't lose the ball. Howdy. Reverse. What a ball to Carlos Alberto. And then, what does he do? Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Alberto finally did something. Worthy of a Carlos Alberto. Simple, fine Schmidt. Sweet. Very simple goal. I want him to drop. Now he's doing more. Yeah. Earlier, he wasn't doing as much. So I think having a support with, with these two, this becomes like a fulcrum, then these two guys become the main goal scoring threats. And now they are coming in as alternate goal scoring threats, which is actually quite good. All right. So we're going to bring on Zay Emery and Beatic. Um... I think uh, those two substitutions will be fine. Then we save the last two if we need them. Or oh, second goal is good. All right, here we go. Reverse with a free kick. Oh, oh, could have been, could have been, could have been. No, Sergio Bayatich. Back to Zia Emery. Sergio, are we we? Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, that goal. <laughs> yeah, he works like a regular number 10. Huh? Oh, my goodness, the third goal is sweet. Villalea goes out. I don't know what happened here, though. 
the whole defense fell asleep. Yeah, they cleared the ball. He cleared the ball right into the path of Beatich. That's a terrible defensive error from the team. Oh, now it's worse. They're not coming out anymore. They're not coming out. So what we're going to do is... <laughs> They're not coming out, right? Okay. Schmidt, one, two, three, four, five. Carlos Alberto will stay there. Villa can play there. Bracut, who, who, who needs a break? I mean, how the Brantwick has to play. Uh, Sajo has to play. Bracun, I think Bracun comes off. Okay. Bracun comes off, then uh, we bring on uh, Rivas. Rivas play here. And then we will play Rooney here. Okay. Uh, they're playing with a three man defense, right? David Seaman taking the free kick shot to Rooney. Alberto. I not my fault. Okay. Look. Uh, you know the game is about numbers, no? Okay. You think about it, right? You do the math. Okay. Okay. They got three, no? How many you got in the wall? One, two, three, right? That's the minimum you can have. In, now that's like the maximum you can have in the wall, no? no? Yeah. So what I do is I send my keeper up. I get one extra player. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should have ten players here. Hmm. Versus there, nine. It's all about numbers at uh, the game. Yeah, you want to take a risk, you take a risk. Yeah. You have the extra player. It's too easy, right? Now. There's a reason why sometimes I'm thinking, you know, I'm yeah, you know, it's almost like I'm taking advantage of the extra player. I'll have an extra player. Uh, but I, I want to see how smart the AI is as well. Because if you have going to do that, and it's an indirect free kick, right? In that case, it was like, you know, he didn't do a direct free kick, right? So why don't you get, um, take out one guy from the wall? Why doesn't, why doesn't SI quote that? I, mean, I think they should. Should look at a number of takers, right? And then quote it accordingly. I'm not here to improve the game, no. I'm just going to like, okay, this is how I do it. Oh, God. I feel sorry for them. Yeah, second half, we've been brutal. Oh, come on. I don't want to concede a goal, but do I have enough players? But I should have. This should defend this. Yeah, I should defend this easily. Yep. Yeah, they should defend this easily. We, out we outnumbered them at the back. Mm. They kept two players back during the when they were taking the corner. So they're very defensive with the set pieces. Sorry, they kept two players back, right? When they were attacking me. So they didn't put everybody up. So if you're playing a so if you're playing a network game with somebody, right? Okay. Why are you not using your goalkeeper to take free kicks? It's the only question I would ask you. Deep, I, I'm not saying all free kicks, huh? just the deep free kicks. Because the deep free kicks are quite safe. Mm. Like, no, not the deep free kicks, the um, wide free kicks. The wide free kicks are quite safe. Because the wide free kicks, chances are they're going to be playing it short or to someone, right? So they always pass it to a hitter, right? So let's look at my white free kick setting. This is the one that the keeper takes. Uh. 
There's only one free kick that my keeper takes. Right? So the shooting range one, for shooting range is um, not him. White. So here you go. Sorry. Free kicks, white. See, the white free kicks, Rivas, are take, Rivas is taking them, right? Okay. Shooting range, we've got Carlos Alberto taking them. Free kicks deep. Rivas is taking them. Oi. This is interesting. <laughs> okay, this has become quite interesting. You know? Rooney, Rivas, Denis Villa, Martin Alvarez, Sergio, Mamon, Lugo. Where's my keeper? Martin Alvarez, yeah. shooting range. David Seaman is number three. He doesn't take all of them anymore. Yeah. We've stopped asking our keeper to be the first choice, no? Martin Alvarez, Carlos, if Carlos Alberto is playing, he takes all the free kicks, no? David Seaman only takes free kicks when Carlos Alberto is not playing. White, he doesn't take. So he only takes shooting range on the left side and the right side. Deep, he doesn't take. Why he doesn't take? Oh, this is interesting, huh? Uh, David Seaman is here. So it's not like David Seaman is taking all of them now. Uh, last season he was doing a lot more. I haven't been I haven't been using him for a lot of the other set pieces. Yeah, I was thinking, I was wondering how come he doesn't come off all the free kicks anymore. Because last season we were doing the um free kicks with him. Almost all of them. So we're gonna change this tactic now to a Change his position to APS. Give him to move into chance of room. All right. So we're done with this. All right. So let's go. So we played. Uh, let's look at the other weekend results. So bro, we smashed Wolfsburg 4 0, but the smashing was worse over here. Six. Oh my God. Borussia Mönchengladbach destroyed. No, Borussia Mönchengladbach was destroyed by Borussia Dortmund and they have this guy here. Ronald Nier, but his, uh, his attributes have dropped like Gaucho. Gaucho is no longer a super player. Uh, Islander is still here. One of the world's greatest fullbacks. Uh, but Islander has been stuffed. Uh. You know why? One, two, three. So many, so many positions. Islander knows too many positions. Huh? They lost. They lost heavy, man. They Conjo Rondo. This guy is gonna score goals for the fun of it with his head. The super player scored. Vispik scored a hat trick. In fact, we should see all the goals. Huh? <laughs> Every goal scored here is a super goal from a super player. Okay. Fanadu is a new player here. One, yeah, that's it. Now, these guys are going to score hitters all day long. Oh, penalty. We don't have to watch that. Okay. So, they tried to play this ball out. <laughs> Didn't get very far, apparently. Yep. Boom. Fanadu, the new player. Oh, my God. Your new sighting. Man, the guy's like a wolf, man. He just jumped on the players, no? He just jumped. <laughs> he pounced on the player. Man. That guy, he ran in so fast. They got Leipzig with 2-1 win. Oh, Leipzig. Difficult win for you. No, come song. <laughs> the new super player in this thing. What a name. No, come song. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Brian cutting inside. Wow. Telemans got them the first goal for Cologne. But then, David Al Nashi, Nashi is super player. So, no, come song <laughs> with the first goal. Ouch. Hostel out of Shafiq to Sachin and no come song comes in. <laughs> Accelerates, beats the defenders. Oh god, this one. Alright, then uh, we got Bayern Munich 4-0. These are your players again. Oh, this this is the team with Peter Crouch. This oh my goodness. All super players again. Hey, hello. Why I cannot win anything at this game? Look at that. Oh, Peter Crouch, Disa Harrington, all the super players got. Zavi. I can't wait for some of them to retire so they can, they can become my staff. Smashing goal from Peter Crouch. 
Then we got D'Souza with a corner. Andorra winning the header. Then Zavi back to D'Souza, setting up invasion. Crouch picking up the pieces at the far post. Third goal. Goal to Diesel Harrington. Oh, God. <laughs> this is too fast, huh, this guy. Rose. Tres. Cuadros. Come on. This looks like a Honduran Duran goal. No, D'Souza in. Okay, so all of them scored their goals. So we're looking at this team, right? Uh, where is it? Leipzig, right? <laughs> Wait. Am I reading things correctly? No, this this Leipzig. This is already got a lot of players in this team. Bayern Munich, right? They got... <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, look. This guy's injured. He's injured. Oh my god. <laughs> they got a superstar here called Rahul Sharma. Look at Peter Crouch. I mean, how are you going to miss with this guy? He's 26 years old. I'm still waiting. Uh. Maybe they retire in six seasons. Uh. <laughs> the whole goal is to see whether we can get them to be our staff, right? So if I'm still have a job and FM25 comes out, do we roll this save over to FM25? Swinging to the music. Oh, we got to rest our players. Uh, I forgot to do that. Hold on. Except you. Give me something I can feel. Feel. Left, right. He's left footed, right? Or right footed, I can't remember. He's left footed, so left footed. Hey, wait. <laughs> I'm a bit lost today. Left foot means you train on the right side. Okay? Yeah, you. I forgot, huh? you're left footed. I always play on the. I always play. I, he's left footed, I always play on the left. Mistake. I should play on the right. Uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, now we play this team, man. Okay. So how do we prepare for this team? I think this is it. Nah. With Borussia Mönchengladbach, we're not going to play like this. That's like going to war with two systems. They are go they're going to have the edge. Uh. Right. They're going to have the edge, you know. If I play um, the striker system, right? Attacking me for that, advanced play me and D-line forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to play our four double, our four two three one, which is called a static double duo. But we can put pressure on these positions with our inside forwards. Right, so... Boom! Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. That's a goal. Real Sociedad make loan approach of Barandirian. No, we're not, we're not lending you. We're not loaning. Juventus have made a non-negotiable offer of 29 million. So you're saying I should sell him. 35 million. Uh, I can afford to keep him around. Right? Yeah, okay. I tell you what, we'll just go transfer status. We offer to the clubs, right? 35 million transfer list became me. Okay. Uh, see whether they want to come in for their offer. I don't know. Keeping is a good option. But I think we're going to sell him. Uh, Kimponos will keep him around. Okay. Sports on here. Out for four to five weeks. That's a pity, man. Atletico can stay away from our only other keeper. We got two keepers left only. Yeah, 35 too little for his ability and his age. I agree. Yeah, but the thing is this, right? Otherwise, he goes on a free. He doesn't want to extend his contract. So he will leave me on a free. So better to make some money than no money. That's my that's my rationale. Because he is he is so like I don't want to play for you anymore. <laughs> I never play him as a starting player. 
Oh, right, sir. Like all these years, right? He's been on the bench. He's been on the bench. Uh, so happens, happens, ah. Uh. All right. Okay. Stop. 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 I see a golden player there. I just saw one. Highly recommended player. Oh my goodness! Look at this man. We recommend him very highly. Okay. Alexi, twenty-five year old, Andre. Yeah, I know. Maybe because I got two hundred million in the bank. <laughs> no thanks. Another highly recommended player, 11 minutes, 69, Ali Wai. Arsenal, no thanks. Too expensive, son. Jax Harris. This is a... This is a staffer. Yeah. Yeah. As, uh, he's a face gen. Okay, I mean, uh, we're not going to sign anybody. You know. let's, let's just be realistic. Huh? Time to add an optional one in your contract. Mm, maybe. Yeah. I might do that. I might. But makes the save very unpredictable for me in this way. Yeah. Because then I know putting an option one year is kind of a good thing. I've done it before. Like Miguel Reyes had, I think a few of my really important players, right? When they were younger, I put an option one year contract just in case. By the time they're 21, they will leave the club. Because I don't know, um, they were pretty solid, right? So I was very scared of losing them. I know Reyes had one. I know Reyes had one, Dragan. I think Reyes, Dragan, and Howdy all had one. So I was very worried about them leaving. So sometimes I do. Uh... Why? Loan offer to Liverpool. He's not going anywhere. Momot Itu. Look at that. All the three super players. <laughs> How does one recover the class financial situation semi pro leagues? Minus 1.6 million. You have to. Okay, if you start with that figure, right, you probably you can't even sign players. You gotta let don't have any youth players. That's the first thing you do. Don't have a youth squad. You're gonna struggle if you have a youth squad. Secondly, you gotta sign free signings and you got to. I mean, uh your preseason friendlies are a good source of money. You can make sometimes three to four hundred thousand just from them. So I have some preseason matches where you can spin some cash. Yeah. So that can help you with your financial situation. That's what a lot of us do. Our preseason families are where we make some money. Yeah. Can this bring that uh bring that financial situation in the uh make it a bit more manageable? But the most important thing is probably don't sign too many players. Mm. Yeah. And your loan signings, you have to sign loan signings for you need the parent club to pay for the players. Yeah. Get the parent club to play. You don't ever co agree to co pay. That's a big mistake. Huh? So if you if you go into the game and the parent club says, you know what, we're gonna we're gonna um, give you like um if they okay, basically if you go to a parent club and the parent club says you have to pay 10 to 15 percent of his wages, don't even do that. You you can't afford it. So, full of my mate, Ingo Barandian, my client has no interest, but he's willing to enter. Wow, he's got no interest. <laughs> Idiot. I want to make some money. Only one club is interested in you. Three clubs got Juventus, Liverpool. Okay. Okay, I, we just go in here. We put in 30 million. See whether they're willing to... Whether they're willing to buy 21 million... Twenty-five million, non-negotiable. No, okay. Otherwise, I'm willing to. I'm willing to buy. Mm. I'm willing to hold on to him. Yeah, loan day you get better loan terms as well. Don't don't desperately loan players. Loan loaning can cost you a lot of money. You know? I once when I was when I first started playing the game, I thought loans. Hey, I loan everybody. I don't mind. No, it's not my money. It's not my money. It's not coming from a trust budget, right? But the next thing you know, I'm in debt. Oh my god. How difficult it was to play the game after that. So I learned my first lesson. <laughs> Stu guy, man, no, 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 no. You stay away from him. Yeah. 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 Uh, Pre-season friendlies to spend some cash. Yeah. To loan signings, never pay for them. And don't have a youth team. Yeah, that is the best way for you to um, not spend so much. 
squad. You need, I think for rapid promotions in the lower leagues, right? From the lower leagues, you actually need a deep squad. So that's why you have to manage your your, your budget very well. You need something like about seven. I, the way I calculated, right? About 18 players in your squad minimum. I need like, okay, depends on the tactic you're playing, right? So if you're playing like a 4 3 3, you need like five DMs really. There's a lot of DMs though. Yeah, so you have to do the math. You have to calculate okay, how many players do I need? And you got to go and cover the positions. So it's kind of a challenger. Mm. Bear Leverkusen to register players for the Champions League. Let's go. Let's see who's going for the champ. The, the creme de la creme of competitions. We got the two goalkeepers. Then in terms of our defenders, we'll be Bronthwaite. We're not bringing you, you useless bum, you know, leave. <laughs> Beer stage, so it looks like this is easy. <laughs> All of you are needed. And Nugroho, you wait, huh? huh? Boy from Indonesia, I'm sorry. I think you feel that way. Two, three, no, you wait. <laughs> Midfielders, Rooney, Carlos, Ali, Roma, very good. We're looking good here. We're looking good here. Um, going down the list, we got Shaq. Dennis, Dragon, looking excellent at the moment. <laughs> okay. Finally, we got attackers. We covered all the bases, baby. Okay. <laughs> Who's this guy now? Junior, you can. You, Evan Ferguson, you're listed. Hmm. We got 22. My goodness, I got space. My, my squad has become super thin, if you notice that. L last time I could get, I had problems, you know, bringing players on match day. Now, Now I'm running the risk of not having enough players in my squad anymore. Mm. Yeah, no grow can come. Let's not make such a big deal out of the two of you. Now. Just come along, okay? All right. Huh? Okay, I think it's a league stage, right? These guys are injured. Okay, never mind. I did it again. Oops, I did it again. I forgot the injured players. Uh, never mind. They, I think we can re-register them after the league phase. It's okay. Some of them injured for a few weeks, so. Red Star Belgrade won uh, Victor Wandum. One of your players. I do it all the time. La. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. Last season, Miguel Reyes didn't make the team. <laughs> so I was like, he came, he came to my office. I, How dare you not? In, how dare you not include me in the Champions League team? I was like, ouch. Yeah? Uh, Rooney, what is Rooney's problem? Come on, uh, Rooney. Don't. Uh, I have enough, I've, I've created enough of a stir in my team you know, this season. What's your problem? Thinks Miguel should be allowed. Shut up. <laughs> Wants to go on loan. Shut up. There's no straw. Yeah, okay. Right, cool. Rooney wants. <laughs> it's an happiness boss on the fact that he's mate. Wants to leave the club. All right, what are we about our place? Wow, suddenly. Boom. Okay, Carlos Alberto, Villa Lea. He's the left with the Howdy. No, 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 no. Dragan is coming. Dragan is not coming. Okay, all right. We got the message, Dragan. You injured. Yeah, okay. Shut up. Go and have coffee and tea. Rooney is coming. Okay, Erkan Kozgan, Komponos. Oh my goodness, the number of players who are injured. Reyes and Z Emery. All right. This sounds like a plan. Okay. All right. Oh, how do you not playing here? We need a right footer. And you are a right footer, but maybe we're going to give him a chance to play. Okay. Ah, sorry, your son. Jora, Hato, Erkan, Oskan are lacking in match sharpness. We are going. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Rudy is going to start. Yeah, Rudy is doing that already with us. Getting to be quite a handful. <laughs> At least when Percy, Shaquille when Percy doesn't give me that pro those kind of problems. He's like quietly doing his job. No? Alright, here we go. BMG. Borussia Mönchengladbach. Playing their back, back, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, back three, whatever, you know. Okay. So, hmm. Alright, what we'll do is a trigger. We will trigger press this back line into submission. Especially these two players. Okay? We'll tackle, trickle, press them hard. They make one mistake, we jump on them like a rash. Bad rash. 
Raccoon, Schmidt, Villalia gets inside. Yeah, the inside forwards are going to give their, these guys a problem. Provided we build up player. That's why I'm going to use low crosses. Get the guys up the pitch. Do I have it on? Yeah, I do. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, look at that. Guys, this is ping pong football. <laughs> throw, throw it right. It's ping pong. No. Watch this, right? Boom, pop. Kids, boom, boom, boom. That, that was so fast. I didn't even see anything like that. Oh, what? When Percy plays it, eh? Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, running into an offside position. You smart little cookie, you. Okay, here we go. Another corner. When Percy to Alberto, Zay Emery. Yeah, I love my short corner routines. I can't help it. La. <laughs> I like the res I like to see them try and defend resets. Man, Percy, Sergio, back to Zay Emery, now to Bracoon. Smith, back to Zay Emery, looking for the inside forward to create havoc. Is he offside? That's the only question. Pam, 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 pam. Chum. I like this AP role, like the regular number 10. Yeah. The enigmatic number 10. Hey, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, you know, he's, he's what? He's a kid though. He like, he ran the ball. He ran away then realized the ball, like, you know, he had, he had overrun the ball. Uh, what's that guy? Yeah, okay, come on, come on. Oh, thank you for the ball. Oh, no. He wanted it back so badly. Oh no, it's a good block. <laughs> I landed. Okay, guys, they got a Superman here. Superman is there. There's a super player. I landed. We just recognized him. We got to be careful there. They got Ronaldinho as well. Okay, but he's not the, as one of the, I don't think he's one of the 200 200s. Uh. Yeah. It's Gaucho. I think he's got a max, I think. Azan Oskan again. Come on, boys. We need, we, I should have praised them when they scored that goal. I landed with a deep delivery. When Percy goes, they're trying to restart the attack. Alberto, they're back defending this. It's a long range shot. David Seaman gathers that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. They're not they're not playing with everybody. Age of area. Um you go far side. Okay. They're not, they're not coming at me with everything. Yeah. Deep, deep, deep. Nice. Pay attention. We got a few youngsters here. Huh? So they made mistakes just now. Good word from Sajo. Uh -huh. I thought he stepped up brilliantly. Islander is a great player. Oh, it takes a deflection. We're going to defend another corner. Okay, let's check. Wait, they also, Yeah, they got one. But we got... Hey, hold on. I thought I just did the defend corner routine. Stay forward, far side, C2. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's on the... Far, he's so far ahead, we can't see him. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's literally on that side. So they got two back. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the goal. That's not my fault. <laughs> if there are two guys in Asia, three guys in Asia, then I covered that. Right. See what happens? I've said this many times, right? Look, uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? Five defenders, right? Okay. Five in the wall. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. These guys, this, if this guy comes here, he's unmarked. So when you do something like this, right? And I got one player. I don't know how this guy ends up behind the wall. Okay. But I don't know. I think the best you can do in these kind of situations is to have like three guys in the wall. Or three. I know it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't know how else we, how else is SI gonna fix this, you tell me. They got one back, no. How is SI gonna fix this? Because 
direct free kicks are always going to favor the attacking side because they got one extra player. Now, this player should, they should, because they got, they are following on position marking, right? Okay. So, they have X number of players to do zonal marking, right? The problem in the game is, once you, they will mark zonally, mark zonally, mark zonally, mark zonally, or man mark, man mark, man mark, right? They, they run out of players after that because they go into the wall, right? Okay. So they can't go, oh, there's a player here in this area, please mark him, he's in a dangerous area. The game doesn't see that, right? So it counts like, okay, we got four guys, he's got, they got four guys free. Four guys in the wall. I'm sorry, I can't mark everybody. That's how the game sees it. All right. So this is the reason why a lot of people have this issue. And for me, look, what am I supposed to do? Like, I'm going to send everybody out for a free kick. You think I'm going to keep, like, more than one guy back? Now, if I wanted to be fair to the AI, I'll go like, okay, I'll, I'll already attack you with, uh, uh, how many How many would I attack them with? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That means I can only attack the AI with five players. No? With the areas. I go like, okay, you only you five go up, okay? The rest of you stay back. I can't even do that because I cannot have five players staying back. Maximum, right? there's a maximum number of players you can have staying back. So this this one might be a bug, but it's got to do with the you know the fact that the game, the way the match engine sees it, is it marks by um, the the order of the play, the the number of players you've got, you know, man marking or zonally man marking. So in a sense, what they either the AI has to start playing like more players man marking that's all yeah but i have seen managers who only have three players in the wall mm. not every manager has five huh? not every manager has five some managers i've seen have three the day we the day we, i think a few days ago right was it yesterday or the day before yesterday uh we had one manager with three in the wall one manager with, uh two in the wall yeah so different managers have different setups i guess yeah it's definitely something where i decided to look at now but but if you want to defend against that, it's easy, right? You just have three in the wall. That's it. You solve the problem immediately. Because they will have the direct free kick and the, the what they just did just now because it's too far away. Throw-ins is all about throw-ins is all about mental attributes now. That's all. So we, we went to this tactic, right? We saw they were playing three central defenders, right? The moment you see three central defenders, you automatically put two inside forwards. You have a tactic like what I'm doing, which which puts a lot of pressure on the zone. So what I have right now, what I'm doing is a very simple setup. There are no PIs, no? I got tech out of Mark Titer, only the like usual in front, right? But here, roll from position moving there. So I only got these guys tackle under Mark Titer. That's it. The rest all have uh, no PIs. Okay. So this guy comes out. This guy comes out. So these guys go in, right? And they put the pressure on the central defenders. Then I do the overlap. So we got like loads of pressure on them. So the inside force are always going to give the, the central defenders problems. And that shuts out some of their wing backs. Yeah. At least one of the one of the flanks is out of business uh, because of this guy's performance today. Oh, Khan has been uh, playing very well. He's been quite disappointing. So all I'll do is to put Van Percy here. Yeah, let Akan be a striker. No? See whether he does a better job. Now, immediately they get a free kick. You see, when they do a free kick, you notice one thing, right? Look at me. How many have I got in the wall? I got three in the wall, right? Look at the line I have. There's no one in the edge of the area. Every zone is marked. Now. Right? Look at that. So some AI managers will do this, like right? two, three. This is good for you, me, man. Like if you're gonna do this kind of a routine and have one next to the taker, you take out one player from here, right? Yeah. 
So usually like some of the free kick settings, I think one of my other settings, uh, I think is only, there only is one player. No? This is three, right? So this is my setup, three. So normally I find that it's enough, more than enough. Uh. Oh, beaten. I mean, we have players in the area, they managed to get a goal. That's a that's good. Uh. I will give it to them. That was a good hitter. Went to the far post. I have my players here. Sajo, they're all here. I just got beaten. I just got beaten in the air. Yeah. So that's disappointing. So all we'll do is we go to our players and just berate them one time. They should wake up. Uh, so my set pieces or my deep free kicks. I say go white, right? One wall. One in the wall. My free kick for deep. One in the wall. Because deep, right? They'll have all their players in the box, right? except for two defenders. <laughs> right? They'll have two, only two guys, no? Out. So why do you want to have three in the wall? The moment you put three in the wall, you screwed yourself up. Right? So I only put one in the wall for deep. I mean, you, you will see a lot of teams, right? They don't put two players in the deep free kick, right? They only like, man, sometimes they don't even have anybody in the wall. Right? So you could have one guy staying up, marking, and then for the deep ones, uh, where is it? Free kick. Yeah, white one. And then my typical free kick is three in the wall. And one, two at the edge of the area. See that? Two at the edge. One zonal. This guy is zonal. I leave one zonal. Huh? So he goes back and he might mark. I'm, I'm banking on this guy to mark the free player that's roaming around, right? So this means this is a free kick taker. Right? Free kick taker. Uh, defender. So they go, I banking on the fact that, you know, maybe sometimes they go extra one behind. So this should cover the free man if they have one. I don't know. Did I make any changes? I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I did. I just shouted at the team. Uh, berated them. Get happy, you know? Mm. Now, two of them not very happy, but they should be fine. They should have considered the goal. We had... We should be good at defense. Oh, nice one from Reyes. Took the ball off him. Turns. Finds when Percy. Oh, instant response from a berate. Instant response from berate. I love berate. Huh? When you can see the goal, right? If you can see the goal, you typically never conceive. I hardly ever conceive from corners, right? Almost always I notice, right? The instant response is a goal. You will score a goal. Because we hardly can see from corners. And we just did one more. So that was Lex. So it's 3-1 up against a team that's not that bad. They've got their players, but we will endeavor to score a few more. Pressure? Oh, he's under pressure already. Goes back to the keeper. Oh, I like that, huh? The moment the ball went to the keeper, he went tight on this guy. Reyes is having a good game. Zay Emery is having a good game. This is like my last year's ball, uh, four two four, which used uh, two ball, two ball winning midfielders, right? And the three four three that I have with two du two double DMs last season. So I like to use double DMs or double ball winning midfielders or double DLPs. A good things come in twos. Smith to Reyes plays a simple pass and it once forward rips. That's why inside forwards. They will tear three men defenses apart all day long. Okay, this three man defense is zero. Oh, it's still got 7.1, 7.0. Man, this three man defense. Huh? Terrible. Doing so well. Okay, he's got a good rating. He can come off already. Yeah, 60th minute. Should be good for his development. All right, Akan can come off now. Okay, happy for him. He's done well. Okay, then we'll bring on Rooney. <laughs> uh, the hat-trick wonder is this guy, right? 
This guy's a left footer. Yep, left footer. Bring him on. Let the hat trick wonder get his uh, standing ovation. Then we get this guy off. And then we bring him off. Okay, so four substitutions. Akan comes off. Uh, Smith with a throw to Carlos Alberto. Oh, they headed it straight to us. Oh, Fidalgo gets the ball. Can we defend this? Islander. Oh, God. No, we're not going to defend this. Huh? Oh, we did. Islander lost the ball. Then we lost the ball. Okay, fun. Okay. <laughs> Don't give it to Islander. Come on. Defend that. Oh, sheesh. They almost they had a cheap goal. Oh. Again, we berate the team. For their stupidity. Yeah, be right. <laughs> yeah, that was stupid, right? They should never have allowed that to happen. Okay. Let's see the rice. When Percy is not 100%. He's probably the last substitution. What we can do is put, since he's fresh, put him there. Let the striker be the slowest person. These two need to press, right? Ooh, God, when Percy brilliantly done, wins the ball back, Audi, check, check, corner, or oh, reverse, straight header to the keeper. Al Halifa. All right, we've changed. Islander has had a good game. Uh, he's had a good game. The white centre back in the uh, on the right side has had a terrible game, 6.1. Rivas, okay, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, don't look at me. Okay. The defenders didn't do their job. Terrible marking. I can't help it. Uh, this one, one, Bakoma takes it away. Rooney, guy comes in, they all lose the player. He turned and he smashed it. Uh, he shielded the ball and he smashed it home. Get it, Alberto, Sergio, Bracun, to Smith. Nice, Sergio. Ooh. Should have made another one. Rooney, to Rivas, back to Rooney, dances. What I like about the short corner routine is that there's so many versions of the short corner routine. Uh, it's like fun. I don't know what I'm going to get. I that's terrible. Milan Tasev, our player is coming on, man. Hello, how are you doing? Wave to Bal the Bulgarian. He's on loan from us. Hey, they have brought him off for the last couple of minutes. That's terrible. Should play from the start. Okay, we got another uh, free kick. Reyes. Sergio, Raccoon, that's it. Ease into it, 5-1. So far, we haven't kept the clean sheet yet. Clean sheet yet. No, that's terrible. No, we, we, we keep more clean sheets playing low blocks than we do when we're attacking teams. Compared to last season, right? There's so many clean sheets. So this season can't keep a clean sheet to save our lives. So far, we've had three, two goals considered from corners. Makes us makes us a bit normal for a change. Last season we hardly considered a goal. All right, this season, oh shit! Now you're conceding goals. Right, uh. this season will be. I want to put a lot more pressure on the leaders. Last season we didn't do that much uh, because we were always defending, 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 defending. I was just happy, happy to play the low block, so we hardly ever considered anything. Right? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Sunny got hammered. Okay, so, so we've uh, not had a great start. We, we kept a clean sheet against them, right? Uh, play Wolfsburg, we beat them for... Now we play Newcastle in the Champions League. So 
So let's see the next opponent. How are they going to be playing? <laughs> Thank you. We're going to play the same tactic. <laughs> no change. Yeah, I see. I see three man defense. I go with uh, inside forwards. Super team. Yeah, we're going to try and cook the game to them. Newcastle have a few super players. The super players are all over the world at the moment. All right, so far, there are now, after this round of matches, right? Last weekend, we beat Borussia Mönchengladbach 1. Dear Maud Dresden, newly promoted. Oh, this is good. I think there are some players here. McLovin is here, right? Zoro. Oh, my God. Is that guy or Zoro? They have a player called Zoro. John Juan Zoro. Oh, nice. They got a player called Juan Zoro for Dear Maud Dresden. But, um... Unfortunately, I don't see um, our boy playing. Wait, Dynamo Dresden? Not bad, man. Three wins, no? Yeah. They got McLovin here. Yeah. McLovin is one of your players. So, we got Dynamo Dresden. 1-0 over St. Pauli. St. Pauli also... Yeah, they were relegated last season and made it back, right? And then uh, we got Eintracht Frankfurt 3 2 over Schalke. This is a good result. Bye, Munich. Okay. 5 0. On Duran Duran with the hat tricks. Yeah, okay. Like we, we, can, we can stop at one goal. How many goals do you want to see? On Duran Duran score. Lots of goals. This guy is the Dion Dublin of Germany. Of course, they got Peter Crouch there too. So it's like. That's his typical goal. And then we got Peter Crouch. Cross, typical goal. Because <laughs> both of them got 20 jumping reach, 20 heading. And then we've got uh, Leipzig 1-0. Oh, this is a massive result for Leipzig. What a result for Leipzig. They only had three shots with a 0 0.17 XG. The underdogs. FM, FMing itself. <laughs> the game FM itself. My goodness, Borussia Dortmund attacked them, but they didn't create many chances. So this Leipzig must be very defensive for long periods of time. Min Joahimin, Al Nashri. Oh, it's Nashri. What a goal. So Leipzig finally. Oh, this is a bad result for Borussia Dortmund. So my goal is not to lose to Bayern. Like, uh, there are teams I want to avoid losing to, right? One, two, three. These are the teams I have to avoid losing to. Uh, if I want to have a chance of lifting the title. Takagi, maybe, you know, I have to go and check. Hold on. Uh. Takagi Ramen. Uh. Takagi... Takagi Raman, yeah. He's a Stuttgart. <laughs> Not there. He's three career stats. He went to Stuttgart for 254 million. Remember, you I think you must have transferred him there. Yeah. He's a Stuttgart player. You remember you guys did a whole Stuttgart? Like, you, start, you all started adding plays to Stuttgart, eh? You all decided to distribute your powers. Yeah, it's still a transfer window, but it's transfer window closed already. Angie Postikoglu must be here. Hold on, let's see Angie Postikoglu. Oh, yeah. Correct, correct, correct. You gave Postikoglu a lot of players, right? Uh, oh, he got fired. <laughs> Postikoglu has been fired. Sack and manager due to the club's poor league position. Postikoglu didn't last long. You hired him in 31, he got fired in 32. <laughs> Oh, the Postico glue has been fired at Stuttgart, but he's unemployed. So your experiment to see whether Postico glue will ruin the situation, I am so happy, you know, he's gone. Okay, how can I face the 3-5-2 season? I got Stuttgart saved and all this. Yeah, play with the double. Yeah. 
Whenever you face a tactic which has got three defenders, try and play one which has got two inside forwards. Yeah. You have to put pressure on your inside forwards. If you got like a 4 2 3 1 or a 4 3 3, that'll be good. But you need to get enough support up there so that the inside force can go inside. Otherwise, they end up being too wide. So, like, my system has got them high up, but you can play like a 4 3 3 too. Then, you know, inside force and support, fullbacks on attack, get inside, that kind of thing. Yeah. You gotta put pressure on those three central defenders. Once you put the central defenders under pressure, then the game's mostly yours. Lah. NG ball, yeah, yeah, NG ball, NG, NG ball failed. Lah. True, God. Didn't last long. Didn't last long, man. So apparently when he went to Stuttgart, there were big dreams. But they were, maybe Stuttgart are merciless, no? Management. Merciless manager. High line of engagement. Yeah, you cannot, yeah, you cannot play low line, low block. Uh. Don't, don't try and play a low defensive line, low block against a 3 5 3 Don't let them out, man. Boom, you give them, put them a lot of pressure. A good formation is probably the 4 3 3 DM. But you have to play with inside forwards. I they got these three. I'm gonna go attack them with inside forwards. Yeah. All right. So who can we bring with us? Draga is still injured. Evan is still injured. This guy is coming back. There's not much. There's not much uh, here in terms of uh, him, right? So computers. Um, we don't need him, right? Bear teach as an extra mid would be good. The reverse. Oh, Viet, I can Villalia had a hat-trick in the last game. We got to play him. But not Erkan. Erkan, no thanks. Okay, so what we will do is play Rooney at the start. Piss off the great Omar Rivas. Can he play on the... If I play him on the right, problem is, right, he's got... Yeah, he got. He has got... He gets into our position here, so he might try and score. Okay, all right, that's it. Let's put a lot of pressure on this team. Two inside forwards. Whew. Let's see if we can do this. Newcastle have got some super players in the team. Let's see what they have, right? They have Umarino, one, only one. And Hawaiian pizza. Holy shit, they have the legender. They have the legendary Hawaiian pizza in this team. Okay, so we're going to trigger press this group. Trigger press this group. Okay, let's just put a lot of pressure on this group. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, I'm playing away from home. I'm taking the game to Newcastle. They have a very good team. They've at least got two super players in there. But they may not have enough. Huh? So I'm thinking their two super players may not be enough. Villa Lea with a looping header that Costa had to save. All right. As long as we, keep, we put pressure on them, we can, you know, depend on set pieces, man. Because we are, our short corner routines are deadly so far this season. Zemri gets us another again. Okay, okay. Kill the ball near half. That's good news. Big Ange has got five. Yeah, God Spurs, you the one who used the general points, right? NJ Postikoglu did not last more than one season. He's been fired, brother. Your great hope. Actually, NJ Postikoglu gave me a lot of headaches, right? The very when you guys transferred him. That was a, when you guys made those transfers, I lost the chance to win the title because I got four defeats in a row because I had to get used to all these new managers. Rivas, Carlos Alberto, Zay Emery takes the ball away. They got time. Rivas comes in, shoots. Oh, again, pressure. So it's Newcastle under a lot of pressure on Brio Levy Cusin. Okay, ask 80% possession inside the first five minutes. Encourage the boys. I, I like what I see. I love what I see. Uh, we don't want them to come out. So the three defenders, we're going to keep putting pressure on them. Gallardo and Boss. 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 Oh, God. The other two managers. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm just happy that Poste Coglu is not there anymore. His formation actually gave me the most headaches. Mm. He's the uh, him and Sean surprisingly Sean Dyke. <laughs> when Sean Dyke has got world class players at his uh, at his disposal, uh, then Sean Dyke becomes a problem for me. When he got shot, when he's got uh, you know second choice, you know third choice players, yeah, it's not so bad now. Man, are we started well? No? Okay, good. Zay Emery, Van Persie, Villelia, back to Schmidt. We're not gonna give away the ball. That's why I like fullbacks in this kind of setup. 
Okay, go, go, go. Keep, 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 keep. Ay, he tried to dance around this guy. Uh. Go lah. Why? <laughs> nice work from Empercy. He keeps the ball. Playing in place of the injured Dragan Milosevic. He's doing a good job as a deputy. Rivas. Back to Sergio. He's on a yellow card. Finds the Emery. He's dictating tempo. Raccoon. Back to him. Good. Reyes. Nice pass. Ooh, through the center. <laughs> Yeah, he's still at Bayern. He's still at Bayern. What a surgical pass, man, from the center. <laughs> Rivas turns. He does a little spin. Alberto, the Alberto. Tuharto, header. Reyes again. Now he's got... Oh, no, he's on the right foot. Oh, he can't. He's a right foot. He can't do that. Man, Reyes' pass is nice, huh? Just now. Oh, they got Hawaiian pizza as a roaming playmaker running up and down. Okay, interesting. Interesting. We only want anchor man. Good. Reyes is attacking that that pocket, right? Try to focus play on the left. Roaming playmaker that makes the entire area there's a gap. Okay, it's this area here has a gap. Okay, Villalea is not bringing his A game uh, today. He just had a hat-trick in the last game. Right? He's still leaving off the hat-trick. <laughs> uh, one hat-trick and that's it. Uh. Season over for me. Sean Dyke is still the main man at Bayern Munich. Yeah. You all going to put Sean Dyke manager of Bayern Munich. But the funniest one is IG Postecoglou. Didn't last the season at Stuttgart. You would think that Stuttgart would give him a bit more time, right? Yeah, you know. But apparently, they were so disappointed with him after one half, less than a season, they decided to fire him. And they got a high standard at Stuttgart that he failed to live up to. That does not bode well for all you Tottenham Hotspur fans. <laughs> if this if this career, you know, trajectory is to be, you know, to be an accurate simulation of our Australian manager's Potential future. No! He's offside. Please be offside. No, in the flag. Put it up. Put your head up. I don't think it is. I think it's a warning. It was a very good goal. Oh, no. It's offside. Okay, we still have a chance. It's not what we do here. Skip this. Wait, hold on. I want to be red first. I forgot the be red but I forgot to I forgot where the be red button is. Okay, be red first. All right, after be red, all get unhappy, right? Okay, good. Uh, now you see how unhappy, how I react. Ah, uh, you shut up, get out. <laughs> Sergio, come on. Bloody useless fellow in the middle. Okay. Uh, um, now the problem is this, right? I don't remember inside forwards. Ah, shit. This is not going to be good, man. Okay, put you here. Uh, all right, that's what I put you back here. Yes, I'm... Uh, I bring you on. Mm, Beatish for a race. Okay, done. Let's go. No, still not going to hit the counter every time I want to score a goal. No, no, no. We don't want to be stupid with our counter attacks. Newcastle so far haven't had much to say. Now they come, they, they, they want to get in on the conversation. Lost the ball. Zay Emery, Smith back to the keeper. Nice pass reverse. Hato out. Why, what can he do? Oh, man, come on. Kept the ball beautifully to reverse. Back to Hato. Beatich, back to... It's not a goal. It's not a goal. It's not a goal. How can that not be a goal? What a move, man, from the boys. That was, should have been in the back of the net. That was such good play from Hato. Beatich now. 
Stunts, Ghost Fabos, Smith, Zay Emery, nice. Getting inside. It's Rooney! No. The defenders get the ball off him. No, oh, we're all over them now. Okay. By Munich, 2 1 ahead at Old Trafford. 2 1 ahead at Old Trafford. So the German sides. Mm, okay, let's let's not get too excited. Let's not get too excited. No, we don't want to lose to Newcastle. We potentially we could. We could, we did lose to them last season. Five minutes have added another on Duran Dura with a header. Good defending at the far post. Very good. Encourage them. Okay. All right, we gotta take Smith off. All right, last change. Please let the goalkeeper be fit. Okay. Rodrigo Enrique to have the Hawaiian pizza. Back to their keeper. Oops. Good work. Ah, uh, come on. I thought that was defend. I thought that was defended well. Rodrigo Enrique is on. Boom. Oh, there's too much. There's too much in this. Uh, extend the highlights. <laughs> I can't do this. Atletico 2 nil up on Roma now. Bayatich again. David Seaman again puts that out for a touch. We're having to defend this uh, wave of uh, Jordi attacks. Okay, that's it. Yeah, he get holes onto the ball. Not looking for the counter straight away. But Sergio has been worse than the others. No? <laughs> he hasn't been much help. One, two, three, four. You come here, then idiot, useless player. Ah, I know. I can't make Zay Emery go forward. Okay, Sergio, you stay back then. <laughs> He's worse than Alberto. Alberto was playing so well. Zay Emery, oh, Kyode, back to Beatrice. Zay Emery, nice pass to Rooney. Rooney. Oh, what a save from the keeper. What a save from the keeper, man. Zay Emery moves up now. Kiyode, Rooney. Why did I do that? Because I needed a fit player in the centre of the park. Again, the keeper scrambles that out. Six minutes on the clock. Bale Leverkusen, zero. Newcastle, zero. Newcastle have hardly threatened us this whole game. It's us putting as many... Yeah, we've been asking all the questions. Arto, throw, clear. Nah, this is easily defended. Beatich, Sergio. Oh, 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 he's true. No, he's offside. <laughs> no, he's God damn it. I need Dragan back. The go the strikers had a bad game. Our striker is in a bad game, no? He just doesn't finish the pizza, man. To hopefully, okay, come on, boys. Nice. Ah, free kicks, I'm not afraid. Usually free kicks, I'm not afraid. Yeah. Usually never worry about free kicks. Uh-oh. Do, 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 do. Please let that not be on site. Just when I say I'm not worried about free kicks, one counter attack like that, and they score a goal! I knew it, no. I knew it, no. The reset, no. Sometimes the team doesn't get into a reset well. So we didn't get into a reset very well. So, yeah, we deserve that. No. Backlines, we're still attacking them anyway. We should have settled in on a more defensive posture towards the end. But we went there with the with the intent to attack, intention to attack them. Very unlucky. Hmm. Should have better. Uh oh, <laughs> Sancho. Keeper getting confused. Okay, what is Oh, we lost. It's okay. We won one game. We lost one game. We didn't play badly. At least we found out something about our team, right? 
he's definitely passed. He's already reached sell by date already. Yeah, Dragon, come on. When are you coming back? It's like, a gun was gone. I may have to use you with a, with a regular, with a, oh God, I have to play Leipzig next. Oh, the top scorer is still not here. Okay, next team, Leipzig. So who's the manager of Bayern Munich? Chondai. Manager of Borussia Leipzig, Antonio Conte. Manager of Dinamo Dresden, at, okay, Hutter. Who's the manager of Eintracht Frankfurt? John Dahl Thomason. Who's the manager of Borussia Dortmund? Jose Jose Molino. Who's the manager of Stuttgart now? Alexander Blessin. Takagi Rama is the main player. Borussia Mönchengladbach, Zabi Alonso. Mainz, whoever that guy is, we don't know who he is. Uh, do we have any more? Wolfsburg? Uh, Ruben Amorim. <laughs> Schalke, Daniel Fark. Um, I don't think you guys... Yeah, that's it. Those are the managers currently in the game. We lost the game. Sad, 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 sad. We played so well. We put in so much pressure. Uh, after that, we defended the first round of free, you know, first free kick. After that, open play. I don't think the players were... Towards the end, they were getting tired. You know, I took a chance. I guess it took a chance. But didn't pay. Such is life. <laughs> You get eight points in eleven points in the Champions League. You get through, right? So that's four four wins. Right? Yeah, if I can get four wins. I'm done. So I was pushing for that one. Okay, next game we play Inter. We gotta go for it as well. Oh shit, my these are not my training routines. Yep, we gone to the OIS one. CX Extreme, no wonder. Yeah, we got to stick in the. Extreme ones already. Okay, we've got another back tree system. Okay, done. We're not changing tactic or players. Dragon is still okay. Dragon might be Evan Ferguson. No, we're not going to use him. Um, Shaky and Percy has not had a good game. So let's see now. According to this. Average rating 7.3. Last match rating 6.4. Last five games 6.34. So he's going through a bad spell. Uh, let's go. Oh, nice. Okay, come on. Still early, 1 0. Tell us, Alberto. Okay, because we don't have too many players who can play here, right? We signed him and then we created this tactic specifically for Alberto, Carlos Alberto. No? Shafiq. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> they got a shot away. Yeah, that's uh, not. Let's go to Kia. It's enough. I don't want to spend too much time worrying about what they're doing. Okay. Monos, Hainanese, Chicken Rice, Tadis. Okay, we're going to have to put more pressure on the back line. Okay. Hard tackle. Hard tackle. Hard tackle. Okay, done. You got Volante running up. They got two complete wing backs. Yeah. They got two inside forwards. Can we can we do this? Leipzig have played well. They were they play a defensive game against a Borussia Dortmund and got a result. Nah, 
we won't demand more. Let's just. Arto is could not be able to play the second half. All right. So we're gonna bring on Howdy already. Let's go. Sergio to pay a pitch to Villilia. Nice pass over and Percy. Oh. Okay. That's a good idea. Just couldn't get in. Piatich or Howdy. Checks here to Alberto. Finds Reyes. It's offside. <laughs> He's offside, man. <laughs> oh, no. I thought it was offside. I thought it was staying in offside position when the shot was taken. Yeah, he, you know that this he put it. Pacho put him online. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, they will come on. Sergio will come on for Alberto. Min Jo Jimenez, they got no come song on. <laughs> All right. You got a lot of these wonderful players to call on. Yeah. Five to two one. Can I go? Beatrice can play as a third defender. Sergio can come in. Yeah. Try it. Uh, for the fun of it. Uh. Uh, we got strikers. We have five to two one. Yeah, we do. Joey Banzai. Just for the fun of it. Okay. Okay, Villa Lea, Sergio. Sergio can come here. Beatish can come here. Beatish can go here. Okay. All right, we got to sit back in a low block now. Okay. Akan. Yeah, he can't. He can't do this. It's Villa Lea and Van Persie. Villa Lea is actually a finisher, right? Yeah, he can't create also. Oh, this is going to be fun, man. Um, Sergio, can he pass the ball? Passing, vision, decisions. Dives to do tackles, comes in to get the ball, tries killer balls often. Okay, come, let's go. All right, let's go. Low block. Wait a minute. Uh, low block, the defenders. Opposition, don't do all this. Okay. Lovelo was a squanty. Hey, I want to make sure I walk away with a, with a point, huh? Yeah, they're attacking me, right, towards the end. So, like, okay, done. It's only one nil, no? Yeah, and they are, they got, um, yeah. I want to get my wins against Leipzig, Borussia Dortmund, Bayern Munich. We when we huddle into a low block, just you, you never know with this game, okay? Last minute they give you a throw in or a corner from somewhere and you can see the goal. No thanks, man. I don't want that to happen to me. Cause so far, for all the talk that I did about our set pieces being damn good, right? So far, all the goals I've conceded today show all set pieces. 
Oh, except one open play, right? Yeah. So it's not too bad we can pressure get because all this uh set this is a set piece. Or rather reset, right? I think this was a set piece. This is a I don't think I think this is open play. And this one was a corner, right? Corner, corner. A corner, corner. And um yeah, one uh, it's not too bad, like you know. Okay, so we managed to get the result we needed. Schedule. So now we have to play Inter Milan. Inter Milan's coming up. Okay, we gotta rest the boys first. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was close. I was I'm scared because Leipzig are a good team. They are one of the three super teams, right? Because we don't have a lot of teams that are super teams, right? We have, we have players distributed. We have like 100 over players. I mean, I don't know, man. I lost count. Of, there must be 100 over. How many, how many super, how many users do we have? Like, Nugents, right? I think, what is it now? I haven't exported the latest ones, huh? Yeah, I still have to export the latest. Like, it's the moment 98. I think there's more. Because we I didn't export the latest group. If you were to build a tactic with two target forwards up top, how would you set up the rest? Wow. Probably would. I mean, target forward is a hoof ball. Target forward, attack, target forward, support. Okay. Could be interesting. Fullback. Um, okay, I would make sure I don't lose the ball too easily. Right? Okay, I'll play a fullback. Or... Your target for us both is going to be jumping reach. Uh. I will play a 4 4 2, no? If I have two target for us, then I'll play a 4 4 2. Yeah. Then I'll play like wingers, like wingers on attack, right? And then just play with ins inverted fullbacks on defense. Uh, maybe a ball playing defender, two ball winning midfielders, or two like DLPs in the center. And play a regular game where everything is uh, delivered. Wire crosses, no inverted wing backs. Yeah, I'll just go simple inverted fullbacks. Yeah, keep them back defending or wing backs on defense. Yeah, wing backs on defense. See, I have a simple game either wing backs play a 4 2 4 wing backs on defense, two central defenders, two DMs, okay, and two wingers in front. You like inverted wingers or wingers, right? Just dropping in balls all the time. You can even play them as inside forwards so on support. Yeah. Okay, so I don't even know what they're playing. Hold on. Inter Milan. Oh, man. Oh, what a tactic. I, shit, I got to think. This I don't like. They got to swap positions only, you know. <laughs> Not doing much, right? Our back will come in. Swap with the Libero. Thank you. Inverter fullback is going to come here. Inverter fullback is going So it's a three. It's back to a four-man defense. Right? Libero and this guy should take positions. So let's attack the center. All right, we attack the center. I mean, you know what? Strikeless like the And I see it works, yeah. We're gonna play a strikeless through the to the middle of the mess. Okay. So we got Milosevic. Uh, I think we bring uh Carlos Alberto no la. We put Milo here. Okay. Milo is a playmaker, <laughs> not much of a help. Huh? Okay. I will play we'll play Carlos Alberto, reverse how do you raise Sergio? Sergio, maybe not. We'll bring him on later if we need to. Let's bring on uh, players that are tall and jumping reach. Um, Zay Emery is injured. No wonder he has to play there. Okay. No wonder he's playing there. Okay. Brathway, Brakun, Sergio. Where's Beatish? Beatish, that. You got, you got more experience. Huh? Okay. Um. Okay, let's go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's gonna be funny, you know. I there's a hit inside my head. It says that'll be fun. Okay, let's try and see what we can do. Okay, all right. So now what we're gonna do is OI the two libero halfback, hard tackle them both. Okay, so hard tackle this joker, hard tackle this joker. Okay, uh, that's it. Just just put pressure on these two guys. Hard tackle this guy. Hard tackle this guy. Okay. Uh, no. Let's see if this works. Uh. I don't even know, no. Because the first time I play a strikeless tactic, right? 
All right, let's go and see extended highlights. Logic is because these two are just gonna swap positions, you know. You look at you watch this, right? Okay. What's the number? I think two and something, right? Can't remember the numbers now. Okay. Uh Colville and Gomez, they got numbers. Some of the jerseys that were numbers, right? Okay, that's that's a lot of fun. Okay, okay there we go. All right. So where's Coville? Right, Coville comes up. Where's Gomez? Let's see whether they changed it. Coville, Gomez, right? So Gomez is here. Coville is here, right? So what happens? There we go. <laughs> There's a gap there because <laughs> they will switch, though. No? They always switch positions, right? <laughs> so what you do is you hard tackle, trigger press the two of them. Uh, there's going to be a nice gap there because every time the boy transitions, right, one guy's going up, one guy's coming down, right, you go through the middle. Uh, because they're going to play, they're going to come back to that stupid back four anyway. David Seaman steps out, God, really. Yeah, it's course. When the wood. Did you guys see that just now? Because that gap will open up, right? So the halfback goes up and the invert, see the halfback is supposed to come back. He hasn't come back yet. <laughs> so he's supposed to come back. This is why this this setup is stupid though. Yeah. It, because these guys will come in. Okay, look, uh, he's watch this. He's gonna start going up, right? Now it's, this guy's supposed to come back, you know. Yeah. Right. right. But it's a double DM, so it's supposed to, now it's gonna be playing as a white central defender, right? So because of this halfback, this libero has moved up, the gap has been created. So this guy's job is to actually become like a white central defender. So he's going to play as a white central defender now on this side because it has a different way of operating depending on the which side this halfback and the libero are. No? So like right now, the libero is here. The halfback is here, right? Now, it would be totally different if the halfback is on this this guy. Is he on this guy? Wait, which one is the halfback? I think the halfback... If the halfback and the libero are in the same line, you got a problem. <laughs> yeah. Then you got this gap problem emerging... Yeah, see this gap? See the gap now? Big ass gap. Yeah. Because the Libero will have to stop in, right? The halfback only helps protect. The halfback only help protect this side. The right side. See? Okay, so that's why I've got these two waiting to run through the middle. There we go. Look at that. So this, I never liked the halfback Libero. I have never liked it. Always, there are always small little issues in it. They might not pick up immediately, but I've not I noticed it. Like, I just don't like the combination. Yeah, never did. Habe on his own is actually a very nice role. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now it goes up, right? See the transition happens, right? So if during this phase, right, when they do this movement, right, you can take advantage of it. I'm not going to focus through the middle. Okay. I, I, I'm not a, yeah. He's still going to have a hard time. I'm going to make sure they have a hard time. As long as these two are not inverted wingbacks. Yeah. There, the gap opened up again. One other goal. I'm just attacking that gap. You can always see on 2D, right? You won't be able to see if you play a regular, you don't watch it in 2D. See, the gap will open up, right? I know it's because it's three defenders. But the problem is that the Libero still has to come back as a four. Right? He has to come back as a four. Yeah, the fourth player. That's the problem. So this is a, one of the downsides of playing the wedge. If you play the wedge, if you, your wedge is the wedge defense that you want, right? Then you got a... I don't like to use the halfback of the Libero. I like to have that one DM that always there. So I know that he's always going to be the one in that setup. So I can, I can just depend on the Libero to be the one moving up and down. See, because otherwise you're going to get this. You're always going to get this gap. You're 
you're always going to get this big ass gap in the middle. Yeah. All right. That's enough of that. Let's go key highlights and go back to sideline. Yeah, no, we're going to have fun. All right. So they got ball winning midfielder, Libero. All right. So what can we do after this? Should we go to low block now? <laughs> yeah, we go low block. All right. We done the two goals, right? Uh, let's go low block for a while. No, let's not. Let's play. Let's carry on with the strike. Let's for a while. And our strike list is a mid block. It's not a high block strike list system. As long as they do the as long as they have the half back libero, I'm gonna tear through this system. A half back and a libero will not be uh, in. What I think, uh, the Harbin and Libero will not be able to handle this kind of a setup. This kind of, this tree, a 4-3 tree, tree, will struggle against this. That's my theory in my head. I might be wrong. You know? I'm waiting to be, I'm waiting to find out, you know, if I play this, we play this game, we'll see if it happens, if it's uh, the other way around. And I get smacked sideways. It's been a brilliant performance by the boys, man. But your level QC's boys have shut their fame. The much vaunted Inter Milan side. Three nil up. Brilliant performance. You know, if we put the Libero here, it's a different pattern. If the Libero comes here for some strange thing, if ball playing defender, Libero will play differently. Put a video clip in the Discord. Do you think it's worth sending to SI? He's in questions. Yeah. I'll have a look. Yeah. I'll... But if you want to send a video clip, but it won't really help. Yeah. You guys send in the PKM, then they might take a look at it. Or PK, video clip, normally they won't. Uh. Yeah, you have to send us PKM and the save. But at this point in time, right, match engine, I doubt. Uh. I mean, they will look at match engine flaws, but I don't think they are going to be... It's very hard to say, you know. Yeah. For me, it's very... I mean, I... My inner voice says, no, they're not going to look at it. Like this. They don't have... They're probably working on a, porting the existing match engine over to see how it's playing. And then working on the UI, because the UI is going to be the biggest change in uh, FM25, right? Yeah. All right, I don't see what else they will do. Yeah. But it's... Uh, I'll have a look. Huh? Yeah. Okay, we've played... Uh, Strikeless system against that system, and yeah, it, it, it ripped them apart. As I expected, a 4 3 3 to do. Against a 4 3 3, yeah, not a problem. Especially if he's playing a Libero. We saw it, took advantage of it. I feel terrible. But hey, man, this is a game. Leotis should come off a companious. Okay. Another one through the middle. Oh, the wedge is being torn apart. Yes. With a narrow configuration, the wedge will lose. Yeah. Because you're always going to have players running through the gaps.
Now they're playing inverted wing back, inverted full back, Libero, DM. Yeah, I guess. Yep. It's in trouble. They play a 4 3 3, so I play a striker straight away. Plus, they were playing a Libero in the striker system. Uh, they're playing a Libero in their in their in their four three three, which is the reason why I went strikeless immediately. Well, I saw it and I went like, okay, we're gonna use strikeless against this tank thing. I don't like. I've never liked Libero on halfback in a four three three. No. I find it was a very. I, I just don't like the movement the halfback does in that situation. I know some people like it. I think there are some people who love it. And I, you know, if this is what they like, then fine. You know, some people, I mean, it's the game is all about opinions, right? What you like is a combination. Not everybody's going to see it the same way. I just don't like it. Yeah, because of that slight little gap. There's like, it's, a, it's not a big gap. It's just that small gap. But the problem is the small gap, you can kind of like, think about it. If you think about it, because I mean, to me, my head says he's vulnerable, vulnerable to a certain configuration, and he just proved again that he was. Yeah, we just smashed Inter, man. At home, it was one-sided. There was a very little Inter could do against us. Right, five nil in the Champions League phase against Inter Milan. Look at that. Their tactic never got out. They got some players here. Oh, looky, the dragon fruit. I mean, he still got some way to go before he becomes super, super, super good. But they got, they have, uh, is that Julian Alvarez, Carboni? I don't know who the guys are. Some of these players are. But they never stood a chance, man. I mean, if you look at all the goals, right? It's one of the reasons why I don't like halfback Libero in this. I mean, like, I will play DM, DLP, like somebody who just, you know, decides he's going to go up and up, right? I don't want to roll that. At times, might think about covering that space, right? That's the, the, the thing that I worry about the most. If he does, then we have a problem. I know that some people love the role. I did initially, like, oh, it's not bad. It's halfback Libero. They've got some funky moves, man. But then, that's when I started noticing some strange things as well. Like this gap. You see that gap opens up? Okay, because you think that defensively, you might... that Again, we got through, right? Then there's a mess in the defense. Boom. No, no. All of them, right, is the setup. No? Yeah, okay, again, right? Now this goes... There's a gap. You see the opening? It's a small little gap that opens up. And that's all we need. Over here. Right, watch this. Boom. Okay. I don't know whether I'm imagining things or not. No. Yeah. This is them when they're building out. Right? They got 3-2. This is later. They already changed the tag. They gave up on the halfback Libero. They went to another combination. It actually was better. Like this, 3-2. I like this a lot more. Yeah. This is much better. But because... The problem is these wedges also have a weakness. They are weak against the three-man attack. A narrow three-man attack. They will struggle. So we smashed that one. And our next match is going to be against... So it's two clean sheets in a row. We're back in the clean sheet business. Clean sheet business. No, one, two, three clean sheets. That's good. That's good. All right. So our next match is going to be the match against uh, Eintracht Frankfurt. Managed by John Dahl Thomason. Then we got Hanover and then we got Manchester City again, the home face. Then we play Bayern Munich and then we play Bayern Munich again. <laughs> okay. You know, you know what this means? This is the meaning of depression. <laughs> this is all depressing. This is very depressing, man. I got to play against these teams. This is going to be depressing. This is going to be very, very depressing. Yeah. So we're going to have to try our best. Under di under any circumstance to try and get this through. Yeah, we'll have to try our best. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, okay. So what we're going to do is, 
Uh, we are going to go raid someone. Yeah. And then we're going to call it, right? So I'm about to call it right now. So we go raid someone. And then we go enjoy ourselves. So say, drop in on some other people. Uh, we'll go and drop in on... Oh, this longest life. Yeah, we'll go ahead and drop in on Longhurst Life. Yeah, he's streaming. I think, I, I don't know if he's been streaming for a long time. And they'll go and check first. Otherwise, you know, he may not be streaming for a long Let's go and drop in on him. And, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. So I want to thank everybody for popping in on today's stream. Thank you very much for popping in. You guys have been fantastic. We Our Strikler system isn't doing too badly. Uh, it's a new system, so expect there to be some little chinks in the armor as we go. So I hope you guys had fun. And let's go raid uh, Longest Life. Long time since we raided him. Stay safe, take care of yourselves. I will see you very, very soon tomorrow. Bye!